Haus Tür ging. Oh my god, it's Hannah. Oh my god, it's me. Hello? Huh? Is that Eternal Sunsets? Return from the Wi-Fi Barren Lands? Hello, ghosties. How are we doing? Are we ready to ghost? Oh my goodness. We're going to go- Oh, sorry, I'm putting on socks and then I'll, <laughs> I'll change the screen. Hello! Hi. Um, hello, thank you so heckin' much, Eternal, for gifting that sub to- Oh my god, it's Hannah. Hello, hello. Uh, uh, uh. I want you all to die, and I want to die too. Testing. Ah, 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 fan Dan giggle. Ah, ah, ah. What's up with these little freaks? Hee-haw. 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 Yeah. Oh, little freaks. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm just fixing the lighting, so I'm very orange. Um, it is a you extra shot. Look at the boys. Thank you so heckin' much. Um, JC, for the 20 months of support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome back for such a long time. What the hell? Um, Eternal, thank you for gifting that stuff to- Oh my god, it's Hannah. Thank you so much. Downpour, thank you for the 203 bits. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Streamer hair looks much wow, Louisey. Bless Louisey feels oh, wow. Thank you so much. My hair is, it's, it's everything. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you. Hi, Hannah. Hi, chat. Hello. Thank you so much, Downpour, for the new alert. Thank you so much. It's beautiful, and I love the alert. Thank you for showcasing it for the first time here. Thank you. And Sophronia, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, uh. I want you all to die. And, and I, I want, want to die, die too. Everyone in this chat are now ghosties so we can experience the cool ghost game. We all died and we're all ghosties. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> thank you so freaking much, Sophronia. Come and thank you so much for the 13 months of support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is a very long time. Thank you so much, Hungry Lesbian, for the 200 bits. Hello. Thank you so much, Luxury, for the 203 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate it. Thank you. Your sparkle? No. Where is your sparkle? No. We will find it. We will find the sparkle. Oh my gosh, did we find a sparkle? Oh my goodness. A sparkle. It has been bestowed upon the smidge. Thank you so much, Megan, for gifting that sub to Smidge. Thank you. We found it. Megan found a sparkle. 
Excellent. Thank you so, 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 so much, Megan, you sweet bean. Thank you. Um, thank you for the, the hair love. I, I, it's very, it's, it's, it's doing its thing. Um, thank you so much, my goodness. <laughs> Three years next month. What? Hello, ghost detective shirt for ghost trick. I love, love, love. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Love the curls today. Thank you. You look so pretty. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you for just so close to three years. Thank you so much for the tier two. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You stop, everyone, stop. I can go cut the cameras, cut the stream. You're too nice. Yo, what the hell? I do. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you so much, Crimson. Thank you for the tattoo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Goose. I was so confused by the Yusuke comment. Yes, this boy, this this boy is also called Yusuke, and he is the spirit detective. So, and then we have Kurama, and we have Kuwabara, and we have Hiei, and Hiei is my favorite. I love Hiei. <laughs> um, uh, how are we doing? Very thematically appropriate. That's what I was going for. I was going for like a theme. An aura. An aura of ghosty activities. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I want you all to die. And I want to <laughs> die too. Okay, I am late, so I am gonna do the thing for perhaps not the first time, but the most recent one. You are indeed the most recent one. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 203 bits. Thank you. I appreciate it so very much. The ah, ah, ah. He blesses my ears. I feel so blessed by him. Thank you so heckin much. I'm begging for a crumb of context. It's two completely different like moments slapped together. So I can't because it's I'm being fraudulent. I am committing fraud. I have stolen his identity and his voice. And I have stolen him. He's mine. I put him in my pocket. I'm in love with him. What? What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what? Anyway, you ever just want to crush a fictional character between your fingers and then... <laughs> <laughs> what is English in meaning? You're in love with someone other than Kermit Couch. I'm in love with many people in Final Fantasy XIV. Kermit Couch is just the overriding thought. Good morning. I am back from I'm a complicated woman. I've got many layers. <laughs> all these delightful goons and I adore you all. Jesus Ooh, Christ. You're all doing well. Sorry. We were suddenly on the battlefields of Fodlin and everything was very extreme. Thank you so, so, so much, Cat Lady, for the 22 months. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, oh, perfectly timed, my goodness. I'm so excited to, to watch this little freak do his little freaky things. Oh no, Van Daniel, get off of your collection. <laughs> Please. Is, is Majima Goro in this ghost trick? God, I hope so. I hope so. I miss him. Um, hello, Simon. How's it going? Enjoy your sleep. Hanako, yes. Mm, a little Hanako, maybe. <laughs> hello, Hapa. Not gonna lie, I think this Ghost Trick playthrough will be so fun. I'm so excited. I literally... So, the the way I even know what Ghost Trick is, there's this artist on Twitter called Cravat. And... I saw them like going on about this game for so long and like just begging for it to get a port or a remake or something and they were like obsessed with this game and I was like I really don't know what this is about but like good for them like pop off and then and then it did get a port um or whatever this is I think it's a port I don't know and they were like freaking out and now I think they've done like official art for Capcom and stuff and I'm just like wow dude, dude, that's incredible so now I need to know I need to know what this blonde freak is doing I need to know 
I need to be made aware immediately of his freaky ways. Hi Rachel, how you doing? Me seeing the most unwell person ever like that shit and saying, mmm, Hannah <laughs> Literally, it's like, give me either the most like beautiful, happy piece of sunshine ever created in a character and wow, that's so Hannah And then on the flip side, give me the most deranged, sad, sad, miserable, unhinged man. Just like the, the worst, like he's probably just committed the worst crimes known to humanity and you know what good for him he should do it more i think he should and i want to watch him do it team ghost or team trick god i don't even know i don't even know yet <laughs> 10 out of 10 shot thank you i thought it was so applicable for today as a ghost detective And the real question is, with, will the large blonde judgment and Fontaine get you back into Genshin? I mean, he'll get me back into Genshin in the same way every vaguely wonderful character in Genshin gets me back in, which is I will pull for him and then I will never play the game. So... Kinda? I guess? Sure. Is it humid here in Toronto? It's crazy. It's like, you know, if you've ever been on a plane and you've gone from like a cool country to a hot country, you know when you step out of the plane and it's like a wall of hot air? It's like that. Like it's, it's, you can physically, like as you step outside, you can physically like feel the, the, <laughs> the heat around you. It is wow, my god. Um, that's kind of the humidity here. We've had some crazy thunderstorms. We keep getting so many extreme heat warnings. It's really fun. Toronto's falling apart. <laughs> don't help. I'm used to the UK. We don't have it this crazy sometimes. Um Yeah. It's fun. And it's extremely cool. I say basically never making you a stream. You're here now. You're here now. Hi, Hannah. Hello. It's been so long since <gasps> I've been able to catch a stream. I've missed you and everyone. Hope you are doing well, you wonderful ray of sunshine. Mm, thank you so heck much for the whole year of support. Thank you so, so, so much, Say the Guardian. I hope you're doing so well. Thank you. Welcome back. It's lovely to see you. Canada can't handle it. I'm sorry. There's now forest fires and honestly I don't mind the humidity too much but the freaking the forest fires and the smoke is just like whoa it's whoa 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 is the heavily because of the humidity no but let's pretend it is or not I don't know the hair is just it's it's hair doing its thing. Kind of doubt her doing the most for Hannah's issue. <laughs> I don't miss the East Coast humidity, I just miss the East Coast. I'm kind of a weird person in that I do prefer humid heat over dry heat, but it is like crazy humid right now. It's very, very humid. The smoke has been a lot of, uh, for us too. We just cleared up from having hazardous air. It's uh, like the air quality in Toronto is so horrendous. It's it's insane. Um, is this testing the limits for your preference of humidity? Kinda, honestly. But I really hate dry heat. Like I would still take human heat over dry heat. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. Would we like to do perhaps a guest the, the game? Maybe I gotta skip the song, man. I. <laughs> You'll never guess what's fucking next in shuffle. It's to the edge. What is wrong with this playlist that I made for myself? Why? 
<laughs> I made the playlist and that haunts me so much. <laughs> I'm not tearing up, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Hannah to Hannah, how could Hannah do this? Why would Hannah do this? What would possess her? God. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much! Ghost trick Louise. It's hive, ghost Louise trick hive, time! Louise, hive. We are going to ghost the tricks and the tricks are gonna ghost us and then we're gonna detect with the phantoms and the phantoms are we the phantom? Are they the phantom? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much for the two months. Welcome back. It's so lovely to have you for another month. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much for enjoying the stream. Are we the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, does anyone understand the circles and the mysteries that they hold? Mmm, circle. Delicious circle. Um, Brilliocho. Thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Welcome. This looks like a puzzle. It sure does. Also, I guess this is like the shoulder of someone, maybe? Or like Garrus. His head. There's not a lot to go off of. It is just kind of circles and probably a puzzle. The Sharkman from Zelda. Is Sharkman in Zelda? Do you mean Sidon? The fish guy? Yes, yes. I know Sidon. I know Sidon well. I, I love Sidon. I'm, I'm in love with Sidon. Sidon. Sidon, please answer your calls. I'm here. Everyone simps over them. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wear. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> I'll go all out on a limb and say Shin Megumi Tensei Five. Ooh. I don't know anything about um, SMT, but I do feel like it's blue. Which I, there is blue. I don't know anything about this game. Um, would you eat a hat? I mean, we have no other guesses. So we could just go for it. I like the guess. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with the guess. I support the guess. SMT is a good guess. Any hat eaters in chat? Oh, sorry, I got a hoodie and it's annoying me. Yeah. SMT is as good a guess as any. I think, well, let's go for it. What? Just don't know. I'm playing SMT4 now and it has the vibe. I can't wait to play the SMT games. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but one day. There is a lot of SMT devil children. Seventy-seven. Okay, we got we got seventy-seven percent. We got locations. We got locations. Um, it looks nice. That's neon white. I know what this is. This looks like Kingdom Hearts three. Kingdom Hearts. This looks like the final place in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon. I love how many people like it looks like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so, 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 so much, Granvola, for the 41 months! Thank you so much! Holy moly, thank you! I appreciate it! Kingdom Hearts 3 or Greece. It's one of them. KGD, hello. Um, I 
I'm scratching my head wondering why this looks a little familiar to me. Po Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I don't think it's Pokemon. Dragon Quest Eleven. It looks like Kingdom Hearts, but this is definitely not Kingdom Hearts, right? I don't remember this. I don't think this is Kingdom Hearts. Maybe? Uh, no, I'm tricking my own brain. Pokemon is not that good with details. I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say it. But also, I was happy to be proven wrong. The ghosts? The ghosts have already begun their tricks. The ghosts have begun to fool us. Oh no. One Piece Odyssey? Yeah, I kind of like that, I guess. I've seen like two clips of One Piece Odyssey. Wait, is, that is the new game, right? And it kind of had this like... Filtery, so I don't know what the word is. Dragon Quest Eleven. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank you. I'm so excited for you to play Ghost Trick, TM. <laughs> I won't be able to stay long because I'm actually starting a new job today, so I'll have to catch the VOD later. Louise, love. I hope you enjoy the ghosts and the tricks. Congratulations! I hope your first day is amazing. I hope everything goes so well. I hope you have the best day. Thank you so much for the two hundred bids. Thank you. Slash Peggle two. That really. <laughs> Slash Peggle two. Peggle two. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the 200 pits. <laughs> Hopefully we can jump into some ghost trick uh, quickly and maybe you can see a little bit. Okay, how do we feel about guessing either Dragon Quest or the One Piece game? Oh my god, you are playing ghost trick! I am playing ghost trick! I will trick the ghosts into being my friends! One Piece, One Piece? I'm done with One Piece, honestly. I like it. Let's go crazy. One Piece. Um, Odyssey. God, there's a lot of One Piece. Holy, One Piece Odyssey. <gasps> Good job, gamers! Good job. Frick yeah. I know that hat. It's Usopp. Look at him go- oh. Oh! Oh. Wow. <laughs> Nice. What if the ghost trick you? <gasps> Ghosties, no! Relax in Paradise City. <gasps> Julia, thank you so much for the 13 Louise Lurk. Louise Lurk. Enjoy your Lurk. Enjoy your Majimur. Thank you so much for the 13 months. Thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Hello, Bastics. How are you? Burnout Paradise, Burnout Paradise. Do, 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 do. It's not Burnout. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Skate 2! It's 100% Skate 2! Oh, I thought you were making a Peggle 2 joke, honestly. <laughs> um, is it Skate 2? <laughs> I don't know. Skate 2. Oh, we're doing it. Whoa, nice. Good job. Whoa! Oh, Jesus, that's terrifying. Whoa! Did she. What? <laughs> I mean, it's a game, that's for sure. <laughs> you have the most controversial concert of the year tomorrow? What does that mean?
Heck yeah. Prime Thank real estate you. This is smack dab in the heart of Tokyo. So glad you started Inbox already. <laughs> Nothing like some shared trauma between streamer and hundreds of viewers. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sudden One, for the 11 months. Why am I tearing up just thinking about Endwalker? What is wrong with me? I... I'm fine. Thank you so, so, so much for the 11 months. Um, I appreciate it so much. I can't wait for the next month in a, or more of Endwalker. How? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Everything's scary. Walking to the end, I don't like it. Bastix was performing a live concert rendition of Hannah Short near Replicant Playthrough. <laughs> that is very freaking funny, like. <laughs> that is very good. That is very good. <laughs> Endwalker is called Endwalker because you do not survive emotionally. Oh, good. It, it actually is hysterical to me in a very bad way that I have not not cried in a Final Fantasy XIV stream for the last... since January! So far there have been two lawsuits in the Netherlands for this specific concert alone and multiple internationally about the band's behaviour. <laughs> Holy shit! That's um, terrifying. Stay safe, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Ace Combat? Do we recognize, you know, the formation of the river, the formation of the hills and the mountains and the clouds? Could this be a location that we know in our in our deep subconscious? Ace Combat is a great guess, like Ace Combat 3 to 5. I simply know nothing about what Ace Combat is, but I, once again, just trust you all so much. The so controversy is basically Nanish, and I see, wow, they seem like a uh, you know? I don't know, it's combat for the JPEG dog. I don't know anything. <laughs> so, okay, should we do Ace Combat 3, 4, or 5? Shattered skies. We are looking at the sky. We are looking at the sky, and and maybe it will be a shattered sky. I feel we have been somewhat misled. They have maybe performed a ghost trick upon us. Smash Bros. Melee. Prepare to be ghost tricked, idiot. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Smash Bros. 64. Is that different? I don't know anything about Smash Bros. is the issue here. <laughs> Hannah, we need to absolutely play Smash Bros. so you can play as Hanlon. My favorite character. I love them so much. I love to play. <laughs> um, 
I I would always play Smash as um Zelda. That was always my choice. This is from the Persona 5 anime. I miss Hamlet's dead-eyed stare. Me too. <laughs> I don't really know what this game is, but I want to play it. I would always be uh, Kirby as well. Like, Zelda or Kirby was my choices, but I don't really know who Kirby was. And I hadn't played a Zelda game, but I knew like who Zelda kind of was. So I would go with Zelda most often. It's either Wallace and Gromit or Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit is a great guess. Pit. I, I, love, I love Pit. Pit. Walls and Gromit or Skyrim? Sean the Sheep. Go. Never heard. First time chat coming in. All of the. I trust you. You know what? You came in with the first time chat. You said, I know what it is. I'm stating it. It is this. You won. You are. You did it. You have won. Guess the game. You are the game. I had no choice. <laughs> I had no choice. It was written in the stars. I had to do this. <laughs> I think these are trees. It could be a palm tree. I think it's a palm tree. Excuse me? <laughs> what do you mean? You don't know the game? It's the game. It's the tree where Nishiki and Kiryu made out. Skyrim, Oxen Free, Kingdom Hearts, PS2, Kingdom Hearts. I don't remember this level of green in Kingdom Hearts, but I mean the palm trees, sure. Sure. Hi Slatty, what's up? Hi Yaga Pelican! Me too! Can I please sing the theme song when Persona 6 comes out? Never. <laughs> Your ears do not deserve this howl. I have literally no clue what this could be. Do you believe Oxen Tree 2 is supposed to come out in another week? I mean, if it is, maybe this is tactical. Maybe this is Oxen Free because they're like. Marketing. Henry is actually the lead singer for all Persona 6 music. I'm breaking my NDA to tell you here first. Luxury? How could you? Are those rocks? I think these are rocks. Um, I think this is a tree. This might be a rock. And then there's like a couple of lights. Um, honestly, there's not much to give you here. If the freaking music could stop, that would be like sick. <laughs> Roxas? Roxas Kingdom Hearts. I like it. I like all your thoughts. And I'll give us a preview of Persona 6 song at Koopa Con Karaoke. I don't know that's true. <laughs> I don't know that's true. 
I think that's all that's a lie, actually. Hannah sewing. This is great. I love these songs. Hannah reefing. Wait, I have to listen to them. <laughs> Literally, I keep adding Final Fantasy XIV songs onto my playlist with the full knowledge that they will just rip out my heart at any given moment. I like your shirt. Thank you. Right, what are we guessing? We gotta- I wanna play the ghosts. I wanna trick ghosts into being my friends. We gotta- we gotta- we gotta speed. We gotta go. Final Fantasy X. I like the guess. I don't remember green in Final Fantasy X, but I also don't remember the plot of Final Fantasy X, so... Sure. It could be. Gaslighting ghosts. Oh, yes. There's plot in Final Fantasy. Arguably, it's mostly plot. <laughs> Remember when Yuna danced? People die in Yuna dances and the world goes green. Final Fantasy is mainly waste. Yeah. <laughs> I've just played 14 to collect things. <laughs> sort of mood. <laughs> Genuinely have no guesses in me. Me neither. This is very... I have no clue. Um... We just, uh, should we just go for something random? Do you want to just go for something crazy? Let, first, first chat gets the... First game in chat gets the guess. Whatever it is. I will, I will... It's like, no, it's great. Cool. What is happening? Is it Raft? Have we had Raft? I don't know, that's a game where you're on the water a lot. <laughs> you're just on the water the whole time, on a Raft. I thought we had Raft already. They have had some repeats, so... Not Wind Waker? I don't know, I've never played Wind Waker, so... Had awful boyfriend. I don't. I have no clue. Oh? Sea of Thieves. I know it. Take it away, Megan. Dredge. Nice! I've never heard of this game. And there was a lot of water and birds, you know? That... Good job, Dredge. Good job. Good job, gamers. Hello, Sota. How are you? It's a fellow new game. Oh, uh... yeah. This year. This year. Video games. Video game. All right, we're gonna play ghosts now because I want to play ghosts. Uh, I want to play ghosts purely to escape my own music playlist because it got too emotional and I need distractions. I want to witness ghosts. Don't trick ghosts too badly. I'll try. Unless- Look at this blonde- No, it went! Oh, hold on. Okay. You can't see the blonde little freak. Basically, it pops up with a blonde little freak. Just like with his ass in the air. But you don't see it because it doesn't load quick enough on OBS. Uh huh, sure it's there. It, I, it, it, I'm gonna close the game and you're gonna see his little. I'm closing it and you're gonna trust me. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm opening it again just so that you can fucking see his ass. Hold on. 
It will load. Please, show the blonde little freak. With his ass in the air. Please, don't, please. You saw nothing? No! That was a blonde little freak with his ha his ass in the air! That's the Capcom logo. No. His butt was in the- anyway. And is gaslighting us. I'm beginning my era of ghost trickery right now. This is reminding me very much of Ace Attorney music. To the point where I wonder if it's the same composer, because, oh boy. I feel the Ace Attorney in my veins. It is. Naturally. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. I must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. <laughs> and then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not, anyway. And there he was, ass up on the ground. <laughs> now I'm not the kind of guy who could just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. My ass is in the air! <laughs> I've already What?! This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies like <laughs> He's dead? I'm the ghost? So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead! But just as I was thinking this. This is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. <laughs> but I'm just a blonde little freak. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, what the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, a how? <laughs> Take a look at your corpse. <laughs> Take a look at your corpse. Take a look at your dead body. Ass in the air. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm. Just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul with- Oh my god, my soul! Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So what? Now I'm a crossing gate? <laughs> Uh, now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. <laughs> hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Oh, nice! Run! Oh. What if she dies again? Well played. Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work. Uh, ghost trick. <laughs> you mean I made that crossing gate move? 
That's right. You manipulated that object with the power of the dead. A uh, ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is press E. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yeah, hmm. That's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world and go with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Okay. Oh, I can like possess the guitar? I see. A guitar then, is it? Huh. Okay, I feel like I have already made a mistake, but whatever. Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. That would have solved the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what we can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Can I drop it on his head? Oh, I can make noises. Uh, that's gotta be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Okay, let's see. What core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is is me. No <laughs> time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, uh, admirable truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. E. I'm alive again. Oh. Well, that's embarrassing. Huh? Nothing's happening! Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. That is a non-living thing! I'm dead! Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. What is this melody? You've got to be kidding! Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? I just want to know why this man has a bushel of bananas on his head. Ooh, this is very danganronpa -y. I like it. If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. A woman is dying and you're dancing? People die and you know, and Hannah dance. Move the screen. It's easy. Here, give it a try. Use outwards to move in any directions you want. Oh, I'm also using Jeff Kinney. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. <coughs> well, we failed pretty quickly. Out of my way. <laughs> it's just a dead boy. It's just a dead little freak. It's done. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Sa. So. I love my blonde little freak. <laughs> In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So we'll go to these ghost tricks of mine. But just as I was thinking this. Unless she's not dead. The lamp is the woman. It's a reincarnated body. Sorry, is a lamp talking to me?
Hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Ah, uh, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were the voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice. Exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts are being beamed directly into your mind. <laughs> That's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. Unless... <gasps> she's still in... Oh. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now. I still have more to teach you about the powers of dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here, d at, like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk clump up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type of to leave a dying woman lying around like a discarded... Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. I'm a feminist, I guess I could say. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. <laughs> two amazing reasons, really. Enjoy your luck, how about an icon? I might as well. It's not like I have anything else to do, so I guess I'll do this. <laughs> this is Hannah's biggest role after Polly. Polly? No, I've lost Polly's voice. I can't do it. Hello? 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 Sure. He's a feminist because he can't die from feminism since he's already dead. Yes. Hello? Polly the parrot. No, it's all falling apart. Polly is. Trick time! J -g 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 what? What does that mean? That thought bubble you just pressed. Those are your thoughts. That's what you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So, the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me... So I'm replaying Person A the Fourth and I've got to say... I hate the beat, I hate the bear, I hate the bear. I adore the Nanako, but I hate the bear. I adore That's the Nanako. All. I adore the Nanako. So true. Thank you so, so, so much, Lily, for the hundred biddies. Uh, Blazee Blah, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Hello, crows. How are you doing? Um, he is a woman respecter. So true. This is Bugenhag and Erasia. I don't know, Mikan is still my favorite voice. Thank you for appreciating the work I have put into uh, Mikan and Bugenhagen. Appreciate it. In order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And Q is your ticket in. Ghost world, let's go. The best thing to do is to try it. I guess I'll press it. Ghost! Whoa! I'm a ghosty boy! I, mm. Okay, I'll go, I'll go here, I guess. Oh, I can- Oh, that's cool! By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of your screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need. Shoko voice, best voice. Oh my god. A Shoko voice supporter? You are so rare in this world. You are the greatest of all time. I 
I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the... Return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. <laughs> this time C used her to get out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Oh, who's this we? So then I can unfold it, and then I can ghosty hop over here, and then... Wow! Huh, that's funny. What is? Oh, she's alive because her little goldie soul. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Oh, maybe she is dead. Maybe she is dead for sure, I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations, you passed! Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power, what else? Another one. Now, let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try it and see? Sure. Hi, Violet. How are you doing? Whoa! Whoa! What's this? No, that's- what's this? <laughs> Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Mm. It looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead! <laughs> yes, but think back, remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd be unconscious too! Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the dislike lamp is right. I truly was unconscious, ass up in the air. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her- let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. <gasps> oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy! When you use your power on a corpse, you can go back to the past! To a time four minutes before that person's death! Are you serious? Back through time?! That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that time limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. Oh my god, when Justin Timberlake and Madonna said we've got four minutes to save the world, that, that song manifested this entire game. And I think that's beautiful. This is crazy! None of it makes any sense! We're talking about the powers of the dead here, it doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered! Hey, wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Rewind time. <laughs> And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as fuzzy, distant memory of the- not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Four minutes before death. Ah! <gasps> Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no! He's... dead. What is this melody? He's dead. Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. Is that... Is that me? <laughs> my little golden friend. You did this! 
You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hip a hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsic left in this country. Temsic? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up where that where it belongs. Look, all they want to know is who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Okay. This is what happened before. Nice, nice, nice. Hold it! Who's that? Am I meant to be doing things? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just watching. <laughs> I realized that maybe I should be changing the fate now. These amazing these animations were amazing for the Nintendo DS. <gasps> I can imagine, actually. I love the, like, flow of the animation. It's very, very beautiful. Luxury SUV. How could you? How dare you? A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just star. They call me nearsighted Jigo. But I never let my prey get away. <laughs> okay. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight in your future. Okay, so I feel like I should have saved her life in that minute, probably. Or like just at some point during that. Oh no, okay, that was- okay, I think that was- okay, good. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks! Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate ghost and then trick. And you could rewind those four minutes as many times as you like too. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm a blonde little freak and I know no bounds. It's time to trick ghosties. Oh. Oh, I saw it down there. Okay. So this is four minutes going. Fine, I got that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. A corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse, corpse was. And this is where she died, okay? I, I gotta know. Hop in, then. Thank you. Okay. And then... There are only four minutes left before she dies. You had better try and get her to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose! Who are you? Okay, no. I love her boots, I love her coat, I love everything about her. Time is passing. Okay, well, the last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right, have a look at the right side of the screen. Right side, eh? The sand in the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before the sand is gone. Up you go then! Ghost. Okay. Uh. Okay, now go back. Wee! Oh, maybe I can. Hmm. What can I do? Maybe I can roll in the tire? And they can go up here, they can go here, and then, and then, if I ghosty tricky. Whoa. Okay. 
That's the blender I put all my fictional characters in. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had a Roman on my memory. Time is passing. No, it's fine. Uh oh. That time is running out. Oh, no, frick. Down here, down here, up here. And then, oh, yeah, if we turn it on, turn on the blender, crush my fictional characters. That's not doing anything. Okay, sick. But we can get here. Nice. Okay, okay. And then if we turn on the fan, we can make the flag go up and then we can get in the... F or something. And then we can... Yep, baby, yep, baby, yep, baby. We're doing things. Okay. So long, sister. Just a few more steps. Hope I can make it in time. Okay. We've become a, a ghosty ghouly ghoul. Okay. Oh? Things are happening, maybe? Okay. We need to make better decisions at some point in this. Okay. Now's your chance to change her fate! There isn't much time left. But uh, this is coming down to a battle of seconds. Okay. No, we've got a pedal. Three? Oh my god! Chill! Whoa, 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 whoa! Toby Jumbo Shop! You have to change your fate before the countdown reaches zero! Hmm. Time doesn't pass while I'm in Ghost World. I'd better possess something fast. Oh, maybe I can ring the bell? Nice. Damn it! What's going on here? Near sighted Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within blank, uh, point blank range. Okay, so we just gotta put distance between them. It looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yeah, she's still alive. And in that split second, Hope was bored! Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Yay! Oh, she's still there. Oh my god, honey, please. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! The bridge is up! Uh, this guy's my favorite now. I do not perceive any blonde little freaks. How dare you! Long little freaks are very important to me. Am I about to crush him with a wrecking ball? Am I gonna crush him with a wrecking ball? I don't think we should crush him. Maybe we should. He probably killed us. Uh, I... No. No! <gasps> no! We can't crush him. That's... it feel to save a lady's life so the danger is gone yes it looks like the danger mr danger in fact <laughs> rolled away somewhere you used your powers to avert that woman's fate so i did all that huh you both certainly did and i knew you could do it fate averted yay so I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's and then killed someone. It's fine. I know, right, Blue Bird? <laughs> That's, that should be the real question. When I came back to the present, it was raining. How do I befriend a woman who's alive when I am dead? 
I had saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. MPK, that is beautiful. <laughs> That's stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Oh no, we've got amnesia. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't gonna tell me your real name, I take it? You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I... I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is... to disappear. Disappear? Look at his little face! When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What?! What?! Tomorrow morning? I have one day left on this earth? One night left on this earth? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? My own! Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a dust lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. <laughs> but in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death. In the morning, I'm gonna cease to exist. Apparently there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death as well as you, as well you should. I will. But let's see, how should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step, that's easy. You start with her. Oh, she sneezed. She called. We need to get her an umbrella, stop. The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should really keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press X to view a record of everything you've learned tonight. Be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. Hi, Ray. What's up? How you doing? All right, Dad. I wish you good luck. Trick time. I want to look at my old book. Whoa. Red-headed target. She sneezed! Ah! Little freak? Little lamp? Little guy. Nice. Oh, cool. Okay. 
Ghost time, ghost time, ghost time. I be ghost. Oh. Uh oh. I better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. He's a feminist. He's just so, he's like, women fast, you know? Like, women, like, I need to like, learn, like, I'm here to protect women. I'm here for the ladies. I'm here, I'm the best. I love him. I think I'll try to move closer. Uh, okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, the umbrella! We can't get her an umbrella! Oh, we can shimmy? Let's do that. Nice! Okay, okay. And now we need to get the umbrella. It's 2023. Let women sneeze accompanied by friends. <laughs> Here you go. H. What in the world just happened? A crane moved out all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. <gasps> My goodness! Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers! If she just believes she has psychokinetic powers, and we are like, oh, wow, that is so cute! Stop! We're gonna trick this- we're gonna ghost trick this woman into believing that she has power! <laughs> no... Hello! Oh, are you kitty too? Oh my god, we have such a good family already! <laughs> Live, honey, true. I'm a dead body, please. <laughs> my dead corpse, what the hell? Uh, but seriously, what in the world just happened? Do I have any ID on me? Can you read it out loud, please? <laughs> I need to know. Examine. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but more, even more importantly, no, don't open the phone because it's the evil man, I think. No, 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 no. Huh, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from? Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in around this time too? Oh yeah! <laughs> I want this as an emote. Look at this weird little man. He's so weird and little man. Inside you are two girl bosses. <laughs> I'd attack you with that. Honestly, the lamp is the best psychic in any game ever. I'm on my way. AV is also very good, it is. That telephone call? Exactly, in other words, at this very moment, on the other end of this telephone line, is the culprit who ordered your murder! What? <laughs> huh? I recommend you possess the telephone! Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of you. <gasps> maybe I can talk through telephones! I don't know if that's true, but maybe. Go, go, go! Become as a uh, telephone. Oh. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of that line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Show me his face. Oh, he's amazing! Look at him! Oh, 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 oh yeah, this is character design. This is character design! What kind of a voice do you have? I don't know. <laughs> Is it done? <laughs> sure. Speak up, man! Did you get her? Did you get her? I wasn't the target. 
I was just an extra. I wasn't even killed for a reason. Who is this? Mm, yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Trace complete. So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go and see him? You better believe I would! Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects, however. There is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead could jump from point A to point B. By moving over phone lines! Say what? I've done all I can to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me. I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. Hmm. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Ugh. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a lot of time. I need to pr uh, pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. This desk lamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then. Did that call a moment ago? You you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. Well, I'm friend, don't leave me. You got a new phone number? Okay, let's go down the telephone line. <laughs> and so the story of the search... The story of the search begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. <laughs> I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Relatable King. Um, Pielin, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Chief Clap to Watch. Clap to Clap to? Chapter 1. Nice. New song. Frick yeah. Frick yeah. 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 Chapter 2, let's go. It's 7.31 p.m. The music is absolutely incredible. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting, it's all too sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. The vibes of this game are so immaculate. Just the best that I've ever witnessed. It really does have the charm of Ace Attorney, but then the style is like so delicious. It is so. Mm. His nose can poke my eye out. It would hurt. Oh, yes, if what I read in this file is true. This woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight. This music is very... <laughs> unfitting. <laughs> for the murder that he is <laughs> trying to plan. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I already have taken the next step, sir. <laughs> Oh, nice. Hmm, 
yes. But I say the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Thank you so much, Nightingale, for the follow. Welcome on in. You don't murder someone with jovial music playing in the background? Not yet, but maybe I should start, like, trying to... Have that vibe, that aesthetic. Even if it only was over the telephone. This guy could benefit from Nabrialis. This one? Or this one? Because this one, we can, I can do Nabrialis for this guy. I'm so down. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. Your redhead. Our redhead. Comrade. That guy perfect? Okay, I will try to do my best Nabrialis uh, impression. Um, if you've played Final Fantasy XIV, like, trust me, this is, like, the Nabrialis impression. And, like, um, don't even, like, give away how accurate my uh, impression is. Um, please, keep it a secret. It's... I trust you, thank you. As you should. I closed it! Oh wait, can I still look? It seems the file contains information about that redhead. But I can't read it when it's closed. Oh, well he opened it. Great Scott! <laughs> did, did, did you see that? The file, I say! The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man! Nearly bit my head off! <laughs> Don't you worry, sir. No. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, sir. I've already seen it. Do <laughs> do it. God, it's like Nabrialis is in the room. It's it's really like he's here. <laughs> I've already seen to it that the target misleading is no longer a threat, sir. Ha! That's not what I'm talking about, man! Hmm, Leonie. So that's her name, is it? This file. Look, like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Oh my god, ghosts can't read. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? Hi, Penguin! Everyone. No, are you kidding? <gasps> What's happening? <laughs> yes, the schedule is always in the Discord. Um, but I will be playing Endwalker on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> Am I afraid? Always. Uh, will I cry? Probably. Will I love the characters more than life itself? Absolutely. Without a doubt. I can't imagine how mind blow I, I would be if I saw this on the DS, right? Lambert, thank you so much for the 25 months! Thank you! Thank you so 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 much! That is such a long time. Holy moly, thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, the animations that, so I haven't played Grosse Satani yet, but um, it really reminds me of like the animations I've seen in Great A Satani. And I wonder when this game was released in like the A Satani line because then i wondered like what apollo justice animations were like because great ace attorney is like has beautiful animations but like the kind of like 
wobbliness of them. Really reminds me of Great Ace Attorney. Hannah needs to refill her uh, tear reservoir before going back to Antwalker. Unironically, yes. Like, this may be a joke. Hee hee haha. I genuinely don't think my mental health would do well if I played Antwalker <laughs> every day. I don't think it would be good for me. I think I would be very sad. I I finished stream on Saturday and then unironically I was miserable. Like I didn't finish it. I finished stream. And then I was so sad in the evening because I made a theory that just made me miserable. I theory crafted my own ending to Endwalker that isn't even real and I got sad. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh, I wonder what the Edgeworth game looks like then. That's cool. She cooked too close to the sun. True. Shu Takumi made a four, then this, then worked on level five to make Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney, then made Grace Ace Attorney. Wow, just peek after peek after peek after peek. The trick is to not stop playing. Oh, that's my issue. So I need to actually play more. No days off until Ace, Ace Attorney is done. <laughs> and Walker. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. <laughs> Whoa. That grape is so talented. Don. This is a pickle. The phone and I got neatly put away. Got put away neatly. And the only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? It's great questions you got there, but we'll figure it out. I pressed the wrong button. I was like, I can't ghost. I'm very afraid. Okay, so we can operate. Okay, I guess we gotta operate. <laughs> God, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> a case of the vapors? <laughs> vapors! My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. <laughs> Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off, confound it! Mm, yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Oh my god, are we gonna watch TV together? Oh. That's me. Hey, that's... Mm, yes, Sissel. Is my name Sissel? That's a great name. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we'll have the power to change the world, sir. Mm, yes. It is a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No. We must be very careful. That's me. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, Cecil. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? The music is amazing. I want to add all of it onto my playlist. I wonder if it's on Spotify. We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Look at this little guy. Hmm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> it is. It's Danganronpa meets Ace Attorney. It's... Heck yes. Yeah. Prime real estate Thank budget. you! Dab in the heart of Tokyo. Thank you so, 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 so much for the Prime. Heck yeah! 
Thank you for the 17 months of support. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Can we upgrade the projector again? Just be the most troublemaker ever? <laughs> I just want to look at myself. Where is your head, man? <laughs> I told you, I don't wish to see this face. <laughs> My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man. Unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. Can I just keep doing this? This is it. This is the rest of the game. Those guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection would we have with each other? In love. <laughs> Where is your head, man? <laughs> I want to see him malfunction. Big boss baby guy vibes. The best vibes. Okay. Do we have any thoughts? Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing and get beyond the projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip the situation around. Oh, do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can hop down here. Right. So what we need to do, I think, is flip it and then ghost hop. So trick and then. Ah and then it'll flip to her, but then he'll flip it back. And I'll be at the bottom. <laughs> okay. I say this, this room is giving me the heebie jeebies, my good man. What, with the painting spinning around and the like, it's enough to give a man a jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We're still trying to iron out the kicks, sir. Mm, yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, a god, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? That's so true. I also meant to sit back and re relax with the grapes. <gasps> Can we hold the grapes? No, I want to... If he like picks them up, maybe I can scare him. Fine. <laughs> I stole his grapes. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Oh <laughs> god! It's even more pathetic to be stunned by the same telephone twice. Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lin problem, sir. What? Oh, did she die whilst we were here? Girl. Lin? Hmm, yes. You did mention the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I said one step ahead, Tango, to her apartment. She died whilst we were here! That telephone call must be him reporting it in, so... Very good! Very good! Lin is in danger again! Okay, we need to get to the phone, we need to go to the other side of the phone panel, we need to... Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> he looks like someone I know. This is one step ahead Tango. I'm at the Target's apartment now. And out with it, man! Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? Wow, that, you know, that's good, that's good, that's good! I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then he'll promote me to the head of the hitman division. 
Bah! No, man! Now you're even getting one step ahead of me! <laughs> we can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! I'll go back to my job now, sir. Confound it! You're even hanging up one step ahead! <laughs> Let's go to Lynn's apartment, maybe. Or the Shasha. He asked me to raise his salary! What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some sort of nearsighted- some of nearsighted Jigo's pay! Lynn. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Let's go on the phone. Beep, 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 beep. This game is so game. It's incredible. Like, not knowing- like, I didn't even know that the Ace Attorney people worked on this, but... Is that a dog? Or- Did you kill the dog?! Probably no. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. What about the puppy? We need to go four minutes back and save the puppy. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh my god! <laughs> well, looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unlucky a little doggy. The poor brave little warrior. The blonde little freak calls dog doggies and he is so... Sissel, you have a name and I will continue to call you the blonde little freak. I'm so sorry, but I want to just uh, tie Sissel up in a ball and... He's so... He must have been trying to defend his mistress. Nom, you get it. You get it. If Lynn came home now, I have to do something about this situation. I'm fast. Clearly, Sissel is his last name and Blonde Little Freak is his first name. True. Right, let's... Surely we have to go back and save Puppy. Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course! Do you see how many Abedales around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died?! So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. No. Oh. There's no time to lose! Puppy! Miss Camila! My Miss Camila is in trouble! You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right! I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! He's called Missile! I'm a Pomeranian! <laughs> I'm Missile and I'm a Pomeranian! That's like, you know, when you in, like when you meet like a little kid or whatever and they're like, I'm so and so and I'm three. Like they're so proud of their age. <laughs> like I'm three years old. I'm Miss and I'm a Pomeranian. <laughs> well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla, Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her, but I died before I could rescue her! How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save this his- Time to save this his life? Time to save this his life! <laughs> time to save this his life! Let's go. <laughs> I know, isn't it so good? I love to think of the doggy lots of words very fast. Let's see, first of all, I better find out what I can find about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you, you brought me with you, one or the other. 
<laughs> it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... No, especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that uh, you can walk backwards through time. <laughs> so that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, let's get started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First we watched... First we watched your last four minutes unfold. Then we used what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. I love that this dog and this human man ghost are just like so accepting of the situation they're just like oh this dog is talking to me okay wait the dog doesn't you're picking this up way too fast dog oh i guess the dog has logic oh okay. <laughs> it's great the dog is like cal <gasps> peak character i need to can i give miss all cal's voice i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it cal is Missile and Missile is Cal, and they are peak together. I am Cal, but I'm Missile now. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing, right? Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Bumpy. Yippee! I found the remote. Woof, 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 woof. Oh my god, look at his tail! Oh my god, who are you? Old next one neighbor. Oh. Shut down, mud up. Boom. No, my song, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crampier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! Oh my god, her hair is like a rose. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Don, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know, I'll listen to music. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. And here is my tray of a huge amount of donuts. I love her. Oh my god, doggy, go get donut. Oh my god, that's so loud. I'll knock this wall down! when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. No! I'm glad they don't make me watch it. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that, I'm dead! I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see. How are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I wanted to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it! Okay then, I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that! Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it! I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me! To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things! Hmm, 
you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we have so now we know we have to do something about that. This dog is very dog. I love dog. I love dog so much. Okay, dog, it's time to save your life. Can we try get the headphones in the water? Oof. Oh, so close! You almost knocked those red things down! Hey, <laughs> I think you're onto something here. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. Oh my god, she's got her airpods in! But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn! All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay! But you've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad! I guess not. But how do I... Oh. oh! Okay, I think that's just a repeat. Oh, because that's the tick. I see, I see. Scolding your fear or your life, dog. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we can get into. Oh, okay, I think that will be... I think we'll need that when the mouse comes or something. Love this game. It's so good. I'm s I don't know how long I've been playing, but it's amazing. It's so the music is so good. The gameplay is really cool. I like it. Can we extend it and then go ski? Hmm. I don't know what to do. Oh no! This game is gaming. True. This game is what real gaming is about. Oh wait, can I do it now? When she's like- Oh! to do that. Lynn just bought those headphones too. How about if I tell her you did it, Miss Al? <laughs> Don, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. I guess I'm a god. <laughs> Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. <laughs> so what now? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Oh, no! Never mind that! The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. He is a god. Missile is my god. Okay. Dog god! True. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will uh, still be the same. Oh, well, if only I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. <laughs> Doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in. So in that case, oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Uh, hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But why could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now, what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on! Oh yeah. God, I miss Cal. No. <laughs> I miss him. Yeah. Okay. So 
I think we could hide her in here. Maybe. <laughs> Is she gonna try to take a donut and not realize it's gone? <laughs> Where did donuts go? <laughs> okay. I don't think this really solved any of my problems, but it was cute. I like that she just doesn't move the car back. She's like, okay, I guess I'll move. The donuts want to sit over here. <laughs> what is this? Why is there a music box up here? I'm sure that's fine. We'll figure that out. Hmm. Okay. I'm a ghost. Play? <gasps> oh. Shut that mud up. Oh. Okay, we got a bauble. Interesting. Oh, we got thoughts going on. If you bark like that, how can anybody enjoy that pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. <laughs> I want to screenshot that. Okay, sorry, I had to screenshot that. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking too. Sorry, that's the one thing I can just never give up. <laughs> He's so cute. Stop. Okay. Something just fell! And quite dramatically, too. It was a wooden box. Kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. <laughs> True. Okay. Alright, now we can rotate this slower again. Yeah, missile easy number one. True. How's the game? It's a mate. Oh, oops, I meant to mistake. It's amazing. It is so good. I am like an hour or so in, maybe a bit more than that, and it's amazing. Okay, rocking the painting doesn't really do anything. What about this? Oh, could she hide in there? Oh. This is my first time playing. I did not play the original. Oh wait, they're saying something, sorry. Oh, they were saying something. I don't know what. Oh, maybe if I move the cart, it will hit the ball? No, time is not passing. Okay, it does not. Hmm. <gasps> what if- oh, is the ball- uh, is that underneath the couch? I don't know what I've succeeded in doing. I don't think I've succeeded in doing anything at all. Maybe I should rock the ball- the ball of donuts? I don't like that. I don't like that. 
I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to do that. No. No. Wow, you sent that thing flying! I like to keep things tidy. <laughs> and I like to bark at things that move. <laughs> I guess everything looks like a toy to a little doggy. And now I bet our little lady will come over to quiet you down. Rat abuse. No! Miss Al, if you bark like that, you'll start the lady next door howling. If you keep this up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. You already killed a man? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you say it like that. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Miss Al? Of course I will! It's quite a big promise for a little fella. The poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Okay, but we're trying to hide her, right? And keep Doggy alive. Oh god, it's so, so difficult. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior, but when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm. We might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Whenever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat, and then our little lady comes to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. <laughs> when that little guy starts squeaking, us talking about how the core character. I want that framed on my wall. <laughs> Luxury absolutely killer today. Luxury reading Hannah fulfilled. <laughs> Thing is, it's because Luxury is watching Hunter Hunter and has now met one of the most Hannah Court characters to have ever existed. And they are the most pathetic, squeaky little guy. the most. I love them. Oh. So in other words, are we talking about the useless man? Yes. You know what was so funny? If you know, so Poof and Hunter Hunter is like the most Hanacore character to have ever existed ever. Maybe, apart from Gone. But like, the fact that Luxury and Downpour are watching Hunter Hunter for the first time, and both of them separately Upon meeting Poof, within two seconds, we're like, Hannah, is this, your, is this one of your favorite characters? Hannah, this is him. This is the most, this is the most Hannah Cole cool character to have ever existed. He, his first scene, he has like two lines. And they knew, in me, two DMs, immediately. And none of them can appreciate Gone like Hannah can. True, Penguin! True. Your hair is so pretty. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've had so many compliments on my hair today. I'm very. Uh, yeah, thank you. It's so kind. I think my words were this fucking guy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it was something like that. It was so funny. Oh, I need to find it. <laughs> you said. In all caps, oh, it's definitely Showerproof. I said, bah ha ha ha. You said, this fucking guy, are you for real? It's absolutely him. This fucking guy. Are you for real? So in other words, the donut can be bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. This little guy, are you for real? This fucking guy, are you for real? Quite literally assigned Hanacore and Buff. True. Okay. I don't really know. Are we just waiting for the time to be up? Or. Wait, can we. If we move the car and then knock the donut over, maybe that means something? Oh, we also have the- oh, I can't do- okay, never mind. Darn, it looks like I'm down only a few more seconds. 
Miss Camilla! We have to do something. We just have to. Now, now, getting worked up isn't gonna help. We're down to the wire here. Do we have enough time to do something to change her fate? Or is it time to use another one of my ghost tricks? Another ghost trick? What is it? We could rewind time and start all over again from four minutes ago. Whatever we do, we better hurry. I don't know what we're doing. Roll, roll the donuts. Oh, frick. Oh, but I need like the donut that's, oh God. Huh? I can't make another donut fall. Hum, what do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Hmm, the squeaky guy. He doesn't know it's a mouse, it's just the squeaky guy. I just realized that. Hmm, it looks like only one donut will fall. But the donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Maybe you should rethink on my plan of attack. I don't know what your plan of attack is. Is she gonna die? <laughs> no! Listen up, little girl. I'll make you a deal. If you promise to keep quiet, I'll let you live. For now, anyway. Eh. Don't shoot the dog! What a shame. But I guess this brave little fellow refuses to accept our deal. Miss, I'll know! You really just shoot the dog in front of her? What the fuck? Hmm. I love this game's design code. It's amazing. Heart. Thank you so freaking much, Listeria, for the three months. Welcome back. Enjoy your brand new sub badge. Thank you for the support. The game, it's such delicious, cool design. It's so good. It's so, so cool. Hmm. It doesn't seem like I can stop the intruder from coming in. And I guess this little doggy doesn't have much fighting power. People often tell me my name doesn't suit me. I guess the only thing to do is hide our little lady someplace where the hitman can't see her. Hmm, I better ring my time. Wait, by little lady... Do they mean the doll? Wait. No. Do they? I thought little lady was... I guess I better have rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up a bobbing clues. Oh, wait. Okay, you can you can help me out with this one. Which one is like doing the four minutes again? Is from beginning watching everything and then after fate changes me doing the four minutes? Enjoy your dinner, Megan. I hope it's so yummy. This is like shoulders. You can you can help me out with this. Fate changes like a checkpoint. Fate changes after you drop the headphones. Oh, okay. So we probably want that. Okay, thank you so much. I know it's rhetorical. Oh, that wasn't rhetorical. That was, that was, go for it. I'm in the minus donuts tonight. I we could offer you hints by slowly rocking the Discord server. <laughs> I don't think I understand so quickly what I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> Should get this out because we'll need it at some point. I wonder if I need to look more about these things. we can open this door as well 
and I feel like that's important. It can hit the ball, but he's not interested in the ball. But maybe if the donut rolls this way... Oh no no, okay, she wants a donut, okay that's fine, but she'll move over here. So if I rock the ball, maybe the mouse will still come this side? Oh my god, it's a pink mouse! Wow! I'm so sorry, mouse. I'm not sure what I've done. Oh, we've hit him! Okay. Oh, then we hide her! Okay. I think that's good. But, I mean, they have to stay there, though. That's the issue. <laughs> and we only have one donut. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Oh, my little missile! You're always doing the cutest things! Okay, can you guys just stay there forever? Nobody's here, eh? <laughs> He's not one step ahead this time. I'm one step ahead. <laughs> My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable. What if he eats our donuts? <gasps> I guess he's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Blah. A little lady's fate has been averted. It has! The poor thing is still caught up in a ball and shaking with fear! Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad, in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right! We did it! We did it, didn't we? Did we? We did it! <laughs> well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. No? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yeah. You're the one who led her into the sofa, right? <gasps> you protected your mistress, so I can attest to that. Oh, oh thank you! Missile! Good job, Missile, you did it! Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all! No, no. I, I guess. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> I've been staring at those donuts for as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me! Why do you suppose that is? <laughs> I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everyone who dies gets the powers of the dead. He's not dead. We saved him. So what's gonna happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What did you do for me tonight? I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. Aww! Little babies! It's kind of weird getting attached to a very, like, a guy who's already dead and can know, like... He doesn't really get a happy ending. I guess, well maybe resting in peace is a happy ending, but... My attachments are forming quite quickly. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still caught up in a ball and shaking with fear, and the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. 
Have another donut. Make yourself at home. Oh. Okay. I too want to shoot the phone whenever it rings. Very relatable. What? Still in the junkyard. Alright, got it. I'm on my way. Huh. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I better hurry. He squished. I squished him. Does this man know how to use his hands? You did so good. I'm so proud of you. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Miss All? I just know you did. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Lynn! What am I doing? A call from Lynn, eh? It sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. Hi, dude. How you doing? There's our little doggy curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Deslam taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I'd better try possessing him and see. We got reunited! Wow! <laughs> Hi, Pachi. It's the best. I love it so much. The puppy! Missile, the bestest doggy. Oh, is this soundtrack on Spotify? Hold on. Ghost trick. Oh, it is! Oh, no, it's not! <gasps> Capcom. Oh, it's you! It's you! It's huh? Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again then. <laughs> this is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye, a missile. But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course! All of it! Okay. Let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear? And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I possess that core, I can talk to that person. <gasps> so we can talk to Lynn? Maybe? It looks that way, yes! Okay, that's cool. Oh, I can just talk! <gasps> that's so cute! Wait, what? Can I talk to you again? Oh, that Camilla never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and talks and forgets all about me. <laughs> the hello, the black hello. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me! So that was you showing off, eh? Well, I... well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I! Okay, I'll, I'll find out. <laughs> Jamila! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You've got to get out of there right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant. The Chicken Kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? 
I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box. I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box, then can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. What? Lynn! <gasps> the fu- Sorry, that man just had a pigeon- Did the pigeon talk or the man? I don't even know. Dawn. Now we've dropped a phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? <laughs> but I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going. I don't know. I know. I do know. I know. Right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Yeah, I dropped it earlier. Help me look, okay? Missile. Can I talk to you? It's over there. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady is a bit of a klutz. Okay, to be fair, that was our fault. One of them. <laughs> what do you think, Final Fantasy 16? I think yes. I think yes. The next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I better help Camilla find her treasure. Ugh, I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what. But I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Honey. Honey. What do you mean? I literally have managed to avoid all of everything with 16, so I don't even know what Clive's waist is like, but I'm so glad it's good. Look at the music book. Nice. This is it, the music box. Yippee! Oh, a little twirl! I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, missile. If the TV comes on, you'll stop barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Also, I'm listening only right now, and I swear I just heard her cow. I just hear cow. That's exactly as intended. <laughs> I maybe did, in fact, say I'm gonna try do the cow voice for missile. So, excellent. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving now, missile. I have to go and help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know. You be good while I'm away, and no barking. Good job, puppy. Still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Maybe we can... I don't know. Too bad I can't just call up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I get about getting out? How do I go about getting out of here? Well, the phone line is still... The phone line, right? If only there was a desk lamp here to guide my way. Chapter 2? Done. Yes. Yes. It's 8pm already? My god! <sighs> Once again, Lynn is in danger. And I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. It's giving back to the Snappy. Oh, very much so. I just love blonde little freaks. With amnesia, cloud, with red coats, Vash. Just give me every single blonde freak that's ever existed and I will be most pleased.
She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead and I can't lose her. I have to get to her and fast. Um, oh. New graph destruct? <laughs> Oh my god, I had my rival gay graph, and now I have my blonde little freak graph. With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope of escape is to find another telephone. Ooh, do you think we can go next door? No Mr. Deslamp here, the only friend I have to talk to is... That nice little doggy curled up there on the floor. Papi, you wanna talk to me? Let's talk. Oh, hello, what's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try! About the only thing I'm really good at, though. About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. <laughs> I think you might be right there. But I'm really, really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these bars. <laughs> I love him. I love him. He is the greatest character of all time. I'm gonna cry because of an overexcitable 2D stylized dog. He's the best. Okay, honey. I need you to bark. Oh, sorry. I'll knock this wall down! I love how her hair is like a rose. Oh, you can't really see it, but it is, trust me. If there is a tier let's tier list. We'll tier list right now. Tell the tier list is happening. Ghost drink tier list. Go the, the tier list it begins. We're doing it. Oh, that's tiny. There you go. This is the whole tier list. Uh, thank you so much for coming to the tier list talk. It's happened. This is it. I don't think I know Evil Man's name. I'll just call him English Man. This is it. Till it's done. Sisalem 2? Crazy opinion, streamer. God, please. I've up I've already updated my Endwalker, my 14 tier list since the last stream, and I'm scared to even have a thought about it. <laughs> People were so, so mad. <laughs> okay, one step ahead is here. And then nearsighted is here. And then I don't know what the other uh, Nembrialis is here. <laughs> Desla oh Ray, true. Um Deslamp. There we go. Who do I email about the streamer having a tier list that's different from my tier list? How do I tell the, the streamer that their opinions are how do, wrong? How do I... Hey, streamer, did you know that you're wrong and incorrect about your thoughts and opinions that are subjective on a game? Because you're wrong. Did you know that you're wrong? You suck. Screw you. Your shoulder and beat? Die. <laughs> I've never once seen people get weirdly bothered by someone else's tier list. No. Me neither. Ring-a-ding! Thank you so much for the follow. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Nice. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ring coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. 
She's not actually, though. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. <laughs> We're not actually going to bring the wall down. I don't think. <laughs> Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door, and I have to create a path to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. If she's true to her word, we might be able to change the situation. You I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though, if you don't mind. We're breaking the wall, breaking the world. I have to do something to change the situation. If I can create just a little more racket somehow. <laughs> oh my god. I'll pound this wall open! <gasps> Did he die? He's not dead. Is he dead? He didn't die. Did he die? I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. Cheers to that. Holy shit. Did I just kill Missile? Or she did? Well, someone killed him. This is Ghost Trick. Um, it's the best game of all time ever. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you through the wall, really. Oh, I'm still alive, aren't I? You are. But the TV and the Star Ornament aren't. Oh, I'll never bark again, not as long as I live! But wait a minute. It looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? <laughs> Can I... The wine has a core? Sure. Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall is still standing, just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths. Sure. We're in. No, shh, shh, baby, baby, baby. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You gotta save Miss Cabilla and Miss Lynn. I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. I'm a feminist, but not that much. <laughs> I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to help Miss Camilla, too. We create our own pawns, right, Missile? That's right! Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Aww. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said! Look, there's a donut! Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Okay. No, honey. <laughs> honey, honey, sweet baby. Sweet baby boy, please stop! <laughs> We've been informed that Missile has stolen 10 billion yen and there is a bomb in the Millennium Tower! <laughs> Missile! No! How could you do this? Oh my god, please don't tell me that Missile is a secret Korean because it's all gonna really... Just, my world's gonna fall apart. I can't... Please. Please. No. Missile holds the deed to the empty lot. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> Jeez. 
Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. Nice. Love her. Oh, oh, we got more seizing. Are you right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Is it like a cat or an actual human? I like the idea of it being a cat. Well, here I am. In yet another strange room. What's with the oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? Oh. What it what? There it is, the telephone. Now if I can just borrow it. Okay. Trip time. I am a ghost with ghost activities. Oh, let's look at the dictionary. <gasps> Thank you so much. Slash. I need to get something off my chest. Mm -hmm. Deep breath. Speak your truth. Missile. 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 Missile, 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 missile. That was the best truth I've ever heard. Patchy, text to speech didn't want to finish it, but I will. Missile, 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 missile. Missile, 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 missile. Backslash and miss all the bestest boy, Louisy Cry. Thank you so, so, so much for the tier three, Pachi. Tier three and for 25 months. Thank you so, 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 so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for speaking the most beautiful words in this chat. You create the excellent song lyrics. You create excellent resub message. You were just, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 25 months. Thank you. Even now, Lynn's life is in danger. I have to use that phone and fast. I can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Okay. What about this? That was fun. Oh my god. Look at her go. Oh my goodness, Rob Boy John. Thank you. That is too sweet. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man. But we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you! Yo, okay. Maybe I'm in love with her, actually. I don't know. <laughs> I just... Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination? Is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Go get the dictionary, Queen. Oh wait, if I'm in the dictionary. Oh wait, can I? Oh, I kind of want to cause some chaos. Oh, oh, I do, I do, I do. Okay. Oh, get the dictionary. Okay. Let's see, I know I put it here somewhere. Now, where could it have gone to? She's writing heart, no comfort, sick. Oh my God, she's built for me. I just can't find it. It's here on the floor, you silly goose. Oh, is it underneath? Ah. No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong it overwhelms me. You know, I've always wondered. If you can be overwhelmed by something, can you just... Can you be just plain whelmed? This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Okay, we can get the dictionary, maybe. Oh wait, maybe if we use this, we can poke the, the rat. Oh, ah, and then... Oh! No, 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 don't kill the rat, please. Okay, you, you were doing so well, ma'am. I'm begging you. 
I'll get you next time. I guess this woman isn't the type to scream when she sees a rat. It's more like she takes them as a challenge, something to be hunted down. I can kind of identify with that way of thinking. Hmm. I wonder if I can use this personality trait of hers. Okay. Wait, if we... Maybe if we start this turning and then... Why can't I go up here? And then do this. Oh, frick. No, no, no. <laughs> the ghosty is troublesome. Oh! Oh! Okay, stay there. No, Mr. Prime Minister, we mustn't. I don't care what they might think. What do the plebeian masses understand, anyway? Certainly not our love! Hmm. What is this Prime Minister talking about? I've never even heard the word plebeian before. This is going to nag me until I'm sure. No, 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 go! No, Mousy! You have cursed me. No, 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 lady, lady, stay, lady, stay. I'm begging you. No! Okay, the timing. It's all about the timing. My ghost tricks need to be timed to, to, to perfection. Okay. I'm a married woman, I'm a married man. That's what I sound like when I'm reading fanfiction also. Okay. The timing is gonna be marvelous, right? We do this. Then we go... Nope. Ah! Then we go here. And then we... And it scares the mouse. And it goes the mouse along the floor. And then, oh my god, there's a dictionary. Ghost trick. You just got ghost tricked. Oh wait, can I jump in the dictionary still? Boom. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Perhaps my darling angel. What, who is in the bed? Mama. Oh my God, little baby. A little baby? How do I, how do I see? I can't. I'm not, I'm not ready to witness. Oh, she's so cute. What is it, my darling angel? Ow, my head hurts, mama. You poor dear, no wonder with a fever of 102. Here is to a night of fever, hotter than the love of my Prime Minister. What does that mean? <laughs> it's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best, but wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I, don't, if I ever don't want to go, I just don't go, and then I pretend I did. See you, Luxury. Have a wonderful day. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here's to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? <laughs> Are we gonna celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. <laughs> okay, I love her. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight after all. Mama, wait! I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> the explicit AO3 fanfiction has to stop. You're driving this family apart. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. <laughs> now, now. It's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. 
I hate you, Mama! <laughs> Holy shit. True. <sighs> Cheers to that. These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold us own against them. I hope we are the father. I hope this is our family. It sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. I hope this is our family. It would be incredible. Are you kidding? Yeah. What is going on? Oh, we made a typo. The telephone is right over there. If I could only get to it. I just need to jump over there somehow. The real ghost trick was the family we made along the way. <laughs> I better keep my eyes open for just the right timing to make a move. Thank you! Wow. Ten months of wow and be out with Nishiki in the joint. Chao Medumbi. Ten years in the BL made Nishiki gay. Thank you so much! Thank you for the 10 months, Callus. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Welcome back. Thank you so much. Do you ever think about Nishiki and then you just scream? Um, thank you so, so, so much. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Every day. Uh, the timing. Okay, I think we can probably put our little soul into one of these pieces of paper, perhaps. Did you beat Armstrong? I did! Did she just light a match on her ass? This is making more sense. If we are married to her, we died with our ass in the air and she lights matches on her ass. That ass is fire. That friction. You you don't do that? Yours can't do that? Can everyone else light, light matches on their ass and I my ass is not? Is this how I found out? I, my, 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 my. My ass isn't that, that, that good, that powerful. No, that's cool actually, that's fine. We didn't know how to tell you that my ass is just not fire. My ass is just... Ain't strong enough, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay. I mean, like, it's good that I know now that my ass is just the worst. No, it's cool. Um. Anyway, I'm glad that Ghost Trick could really like. I w it was fun to have an emotional break uh, from a game. <sighs> you know, because they just. Mm. Yeah. No, it's fine. Oh, that's fun. smart. This is truly the trauma dump This is it. Is this her husband? Have I already been kicked out of this family? I don't know how to give this man a voice. What is this man's voice? How do we, how do I, what does he sound like? I need help. I need voice direction from chat. Giza. Okay, I like it. Deep voice man. Old. Harumph. Mikan. <laughs> I dare you to voice him like missile. <laughs> he sounds like this. Hello, is that you? <laughs> Louis Swan. Harumph. Harumph. Right, this. Is it kind of like this? I don't know. Southern? Extremely strong French accent. 
Hello, is that do you? <laughs> I don't think I can do that to the French. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair on French people, but we can stick with it if we want. Please no. <laughs> Please, please no. Hello, is that you? <laughs> okay, hold on. We're gonna start with the French accent, but we're gonna we're gonna make it deeper. We're gonna bring it down. Hello, is that you? Sure, that's it. I'm French. <laughs> I'm French, and I approve. The French have confirmed their support of the accent. <laughs> So sorry. Thank you so much, Lady Suzumi, for the 15 months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for such a long time. Holy moly. Welcome back. The French are here. We have French people in chat. It, it, it is shocking. It is shocking. Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, come change your mind, come home to me. <laughs> I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. <laughs> you can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. <laughs> no, I'm so sad. <laughs> Let me talk to Amelie. <laughs> No, Amelie. <laughs> Amelie, I cook an egg with a spoon. <laughs> Does anyone know that fucking McElroy Amelie thing? It is Amelie now on DVD. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Let me talk to Amelie. I said I eat an egg with a spoon at the same time. <laughs> we are all one brain. Uh, now on DVD, Amelie. <laughs> that video is one of the funniest videos I've ever witnessed in my life. Or that clip. God. Let me talk to Amelie then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Please come on, I have Amelie on DVD. <laughs> now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. As a French, it's pretty accurate. No, let's not say that. <laughs> no, no. Welcome on in. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. Epic divorce court, truly. The Nagito eyes, truly. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my only lead first. <laughs> that hitman who's off to Lynn is sure to be headed to the junkyard right now. About a hurry. Okay. Wait, she never has an egg. <laughs> I also have no understanding of Amelie at all. I only know the McElroy Amelie bit. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Ooh! Who are these? Oh. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. We've got three, three voices to go. Good, great. <laughs> and beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is too. Hannah playing my favorite game of all time? How is it so far? It's amazing. This is what gaming is about. This is it. This is, it's so good, genuinely. Um, welcome. Yes. Wow. Yes. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? 
The police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know, into your uh, murder. My murder case, eh? Where is Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Who is your number one? This is the tier list. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Why is nobody else in there? Um, yes. Where do fanfic women and French man rank? Oh my god, true! Okay, uh, fanfic women, honestly... Incredible. Um, Frenchman. Frenchman, we haven't like seen him too much, but he's still ranking pretty high. Custody. I'm screenshotting this face, and I'm, I'm gonna make it an email. I will. You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lab. Hmm. I better see what I can find. Why did Phoenix lose his hair? Where did his hair go? Where's his spikes? Who is this man? Quite a thing, huh, this case? Yeah, one of her own. Am I a policeman? Or a detective? What am I? What's going on? One of her own. A murderer. Heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie too. Oh. She's... I... Fine. <laughs> she's a rookie too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector... I read that as Inspector Carbonara. And truly, I want that to be their name now. Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm, I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, as detectives shouldn't- we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> Sorry, that's the voice. Um, Italian accent incoming? Let's not. Inspector Candelabra. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I think we can safely assume the death of the fuck. <laughs> Let's try that again. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back of the lab. <laughs> Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? Do you... Have, hold on. When he comes back, I need to make an observation. I don't know, but Cabanella is our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape or they'll be held to pay. You know, like, a, the, the pelvis bone? Does it... Oh, you can't even see the full thing. Hold on. Like, does his... He looks. Like, SIU director! <gasps> no! I didn't even. Oh my god! My favorite Persona 5 character, SIU director, is making his grand return? No! You don't even know how much I love. If you weren't here for the Persona 5 playthrough, you do not even understand the hold that SIU Director has over me. I love SIU Director. SIU Director and Dedicated Woman and Pompous Customer. That's Pete. I don't see what that has to do with me. 
I don't really get what kind of uh, Cab <laughs> Cabanella wants to come for either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, I wonder what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening, like me. <laughs> like me. Oh, is that him? Oh my god, I'm in love with you. I... What? Yes. Yes, 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 you're mine. I'm yours. You're. <laughs> what even a voice does this man have? Absolute comic couch behavior. Yes! <laughs> comic couch and little giggle man behavior. Is this the Hanacore? I mean, he might be. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, the tension of a crime scene. <laughs> yeah, nothing like it, baby. <laughs> this is the best character of all time ever. This is it. This is oh, what? How can I exist in a world where he exists? I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. I don't... I should... I should... Oh, I've been waiting for this. Me too, and I didn't even know. He's so saucy. He is. And I'm lost in the sauce. Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella! Thank you for coming. Needs an immediate tier list update. You're so right. Hold on. Hannah is drowning in the sauce and requests that no one help her out. He's kind of. <laughs> There's a whole, there's a whole fruit punch in this man. Perhaps, I don't know. Allow me, me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Would he, okay, to the, he would, he would, would he, would, would he do the whole, would he, you know, do the whole like, if you if you if you're a Final Fantasy fourteen and you know the would he would he would be like oh would he okay I'm fine so this is the head of the special investigation unit he seems um uh, unique I want to uh, find out if they're making up what is happening he's dead <laughs> they will literally never meet <laughs> unless he dies and then we talk. I've never wanted a character to die so much. Like, I'll bring him back, but like, can we just knock him off for like a little bit? I come back and we are talking, <laughs> I'm shocked. Oh, will someone kill him, please? We need a, we need a hit on this man immediately. Immediately. <laughs> We're gonna corpse ride this. I love that Cabanella has had like four lines. I just, <laughs> like, when it happens, it happens fast. I don't know. This is what true love is, I think. <laughs> and his music. His music is incredible. Date night where one dies at 7 p.m. Friday night. We spend four minutes together, but then we like repeat that <laughs> a lot. What do you have to say about him? I'm very curious. How do I put my thingy again? Oh, we have updates. My name is Sissel. Okay. She's a detective, apparently. Look at his little wiggle. Oh wait, did that thing he's got? Oh, no, she's still sneezing. Me too.
eyebrowed villain. Nice. The other hitman. Nice. Perfumed lady. Feverish firecracker. Careworn gentleman. The green detective. The blue detective. Odd blue doctor. Lanky and loose lawman. <laughs> Lanky and loose were the first two descriptors that this man could come up with. Apparently, he's the group's top investigator, looked up to by his man. He seems to dance through life. He has some kind of special title in. Okay. Well, here he is for his big log. Aren't you going to confront him about it? I'm gonna make my report! Yeah, that's about what I figured. Okay, Phoenix. Chill. What am I gonna do? Um, talk to this guy. Who is this? All of the character designs are absolutely magnificent. Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, about fair to average, if I had to say, yeah, it's going all right. He's got reach and flexibility. It's over. This is it. Gaming began and ended here. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Sorry, you were talk you were- you were- you- 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 sorry, there was a man that you were wanting to talk to and wanted to call him baby and you just- Sorry, what? Sorry, tell me more. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that, Inspector. I just got it. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering about being some being guardian of par the park or some such. Yeah, him. Ugh, sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. I just... I'm... 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 I... I'm... 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 sir. If I may make more of a Dog! Yoo-hoo! Oh, dog! Let me crush him. Let me crush him like a Pepsi can. Just let me just please once. Talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, dog? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Any hoot, I'd like to see the suspect now if I may. Then, sir! I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She is being detained in the junkyard superintendent's Ooh. office right now. He is fruitier than a Christmas pudding twice as flaming. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> Beautiful, incredible, so well put, my goodness. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just be on where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Carry on, boys. Good luck, sir! Wow. Ooh, and Inspector Cabanella. He sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again. Never seen anyone use the stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion the same airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. 
What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? I wish to find out. I want to know everything about them. Please. No. Uh-oh. Things have taken a turn. How do I leave? My brain is so full of carbonara and I don't know how to go. Oh, maybe he'll leave and then he'll take his bag with him. I think we can pr pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Oh no, the pistol. Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's, it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? Well, that's not like great, you know, if she shot now. I mean, she's cool as hell, so I really don't mind like the whole shooting thing, but like, um... So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here is, uh... <gasps> oh! Fool! If you were to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction. I, I didn't fire it. I'm the victim here! This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. <laughs> okay. Bang. Did the gun just talk to me? <laughs> what? what was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun. What? What is happening? <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Did my guy die? Can we talk to him? <laughs> Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that, it's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the, of the phone or the crime case? Um, if you say so. This is the most Danganronpa music ever. Apart from the music that is actually in Danganronpa. Oh, he's not dead, okay. That's a shame. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the dog come to the super's office, would you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny, get that good dog over here this instant. Or I'll see to it that you never wear a green suit again. Oh, and he like threatens physical harm and people would say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He's the Hanukkah. He's turning evil. He's got multitudes. No. Keep him away. Pump. He's so baby girl! Oh, send him right up, sir. Sold. <laughs> oh, maybe... Oh wait, no, I can just... I was gonna say, I could travel up, but I can just go. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. Ugh, you're my best. Look at this, you walk! Anacor decided not today. <laughs> Not today. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That sure sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Yet another gunshot rings out in a lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. And of course, just have watched the game, you boys. <laughs> but as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anyone else die. Hi, Sunny. It's so good. I'm glad people are playing it. Chapter three done. Boom. Yes, I want to keep playing. 8.23 p.m. Life moves so fast. 
Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. I kind of hope Lynn is dead so that we can talk to her. But I wonder who would have killed her. Oh, I guess maybe one step ahead was one step ahead. He was on the way to the junkyard. Curious. <gasps> no, it is her! Ooh. No, Lynn, hang in there, baby. I love character design. I what, Okay, what voice are we going with? What voice, what, what, what voice does this man have? His hair is like broccoli and he has a bird, a pigeon, and uh, he's the best. Polly, Hojo, Birdman, Polly. How many bird voices do you have? One that isn't good. Zyria, Zyria Royce, thank you for the follow, welcome. Papyrus, I don't remember what Papyrus voice I had. A little, it's not, I don't know. Polly voice, okay. <clears throat> Hello, it looks like so. <laughs> Hello, I'm a parrot. Fuck, I, it's awful. Okay. Hello, it looks like some, <laughs> I hate it. It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that pigeon man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Hello. Yeah, well, it's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? Hi. Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your air. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Damn. He's incredible. You're picking the lock. You can just open the door. Dog, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Tell you to shout at me. Now, let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. A second death of the night, actually. Let's talk to her. Can we talk to her, please? I want to talk to her. Yes. The animations are amazing. They're so good. Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? Oh, she's coming to you? What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Oh. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yeah, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look, you're the dead one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I 
I was so close to greatness. Uh, is this a Hanako character? Maybe. It's the three clips of Hanami and Cavanella for me. <laughs> I'd look pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. Also, do you like how he looks? Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. What? Huh? Hmm? 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 Yay! There. Now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Grr, everything is so confusing! Can't you do something? Uh, hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Ooh. Do you know anything about me? I'm looking for the answers to my questions. Who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yeah, in the junkyard outside. Best game ever, it's so good. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Uh, why not? Because I don't know you. Oof. What? What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. No way! <laughs> so I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. Which I am wondering why we're not doing that. But I'm sure it's fine. We'll get to it. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me. That's right. You don't remember? He's a freak, but we love him for it. Who would have thought that the blonde freak isn't the only freak in this game? Hmm. Yes, I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot. By a blue man dressed in all in, all in black. I guess that means that... This means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. That's kind of terrifying. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Because I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I thought that's some kind of record, don't you think? She's so cute. <laughs> I can't wait for him to go. It's ghost trick time and then ghost trick all over the enemy. You're gonna love this game. If you love ghost tricks and, and ghosts saying it's time for me to ghost trick, then this is it's it. This is it. This is the game. Thank you so much for the 16 months. Thank you, Animateur. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome back. I hope you're well. We have blonde freaks and brunette freaks. Who's next? Is this redhead a freak? Maybe. Freaks, all of them. It's freaks all the way down. Freaks galore. Ah, uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. So you don't know me, huh? No, wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was an a any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. You, you mean... Bingo. By you. I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. 
You gotta be kidding me. There was a lot saying that I don't remember. Ugh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Ugh. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I s I'm still gonna ask you. Ask you want To save my life. Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve that case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Aww. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? <laughs> They're such cuties. I love them. I love everyone in this game. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Are we sure he isn't Bash? <laughs> A boy who just loves everyone and will look after everyone no matter what. He's Bash the Stampede. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Stop. No. Don't let me get too attached. They all keep dying. Don't go. I have a bad feeling about this. Basu! Detective, is everything okay? Oh! Uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken alright? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. Look at that little... Evening, patrolman. Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. This man is so tall. He did, he's so tall. Look how everyone is his bitch. <laughs> yeah, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my Lynn's in crisis? I appreciate it, Sal. Cute. Wait a minute. Did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy head man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Mm, never, baby. Uh well, uh, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. 
I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. Ugh. You know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you... <laughs> I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Who's him? Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! <gasps> Whoa. It seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, looks like this hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. One four-minute game. We've got four minutes to save the world. Oh. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh boy. You can use that telephone to move around, right? That's right. I don't know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. <laughs> but the telephone thing's a good idea. Okay. I was gonna ask if you were gonna play this. So excited to watch your reactions. It's so good so far. It's so, so, oh. Whoa. Whoa. It's so, so good. Um, I'm loving it. It's so different to anything I've played and very, very fun. Can we even sell it? Yeah. Oh, but it's closed. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? Who are you calling anyway? It was personal business. But she could have been calling Camilla, right? That makes sense at least. Oh, that went the wrong way. But, sure. The puzzle design is really unique. Yeah, it's so cool. And like, it's such good vibes with the music. Um. The music and the and the the character design is just so cool, and it's like kind of Danganronpa, Ace Attorney, -y, and that's very wow. I like it a lot. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would, I could do that. Okay, I don't think I should have done. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. This is going accidentally. Wait. Hmm. Okay, let's just go to the phone first, and then we can stop. Okay. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently, in this four minutes before death world, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed, looks like like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal. We will, just another way. 
they would be here to stand guard over this rookie detective Lynn. Now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. They told me to call the detective outside if she did anything suspicious. So here I stand. Heh, maybe I need to call the detective outside after all. She's so beautiful, it's criminal! We'll work on that. Um, we'll work on that, don't worry. Can I turn this on? No, okay. I can't get anywhere. Let's swivel this, maybe. Oh, isn't this gonna, oh no. Is this gonna attract his attention to the notebook? Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. No, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. What's up? What's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. A uh, notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Uh, let's see. It's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in, too, and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let on you notice anything. Hey, look at that! The phone line is glowing red. <gasps> I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Damn! We're making moves. He is trying very hard. I'm very proud of him. I've been waiting for you. Yeah! Oof, what are you? A desk lamp. It sounds like an old grandpa. Oh man, I gotta change up the whole voice! <laughs> yeah, jeez, oh, okay. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray. You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can us to any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. <sighs> I heard it way up on the upper level a scant few minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Sorry, it's going back to nasally <laughs> immediately. All right, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. I mean, you're alive. I think that's kind of a positive note. Come on and hop in. Carry on, boys. <laughs> they change. Wow. Whee! That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yeah, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go there. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. Why did her missile have the exact same reaction to not having powers? Dogs are like their owners. Uh, ghosty time. Oh wait, how did I go up? Oh, I remember. Why 
piece of fucking going up this time. Did it not go on? Oh no. Uh oh. No, I know time's passing. Was it because I had this as well? Ah, yep, I think it was. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hold on, Cavanella. Slow your roll. The inspector is shmoving. Three masters already released? Yes, it came out last weekend, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if I found out there were dead guys who powers and I didn't have them, I'd be fairly annoyed. To be fair, she's coming back to life though, and we're just dead. So... Positives and negatives, I guess. Well, we made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time, let's try to find him fast. I'm gonna make good and sure he understands. What happens to people who point guns at others? There's a gleam in her eye, in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Ah. I think I sh messed up. <laughs> Can you come back? I think I meant. No, I. No. No. <gasps> I- uh oh Look, there he is, way up there, that horrible hitman! I think his name is actually Tango, but I guess that doesn't matter. Come on, let's go grind him into pieces! I wish he wouldn't use such violent expressions. Besides, I don't see any cause that'll guess get us over there. I think we might have missed our chance. Timing is everything. You're right. How do I... Well, R.I.P. Hmm, he's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Lynn is vicious. I relate to Lynn. She's... She uses her words most adjectively. At least we can still jam. R.E.P. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's another bike. Oh, that's my bike. This is his bike. I remember. <laughs> A policeman. Okay, it's fine. Like, we can just go again. Even if we block his shot, that only buys a little more time. It doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with evil is to crush it completely. This lady detective is just a little excessive. <laughs> no, she's perfect. I don't know what you mean. Okay. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let her be unhinged, sister. You're unhinged in your own way, and we don't judge you. Oh my goodness, you're going outside with like a Starbucks Diet Coke or anything? Oh my god. I'm so, I've treated so well. Oh. Do I want anything? Yes, please. Well done. I messaged you. I messaged you. I'm gonna go cute girl text me. Oh my god. See me? He blush? He blush? Red Red Tree is ordering for chat. Everyone get your orders in now. Everyone? 
let, let you know, let Holly know what you want. I had a nice coffee this morning when I got to my place, it was warm. Oh boy. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yo! Hello? I don't dance. Thank you. Please help Louise. The, yes. Thank you so much. The blonde freak. He helps. Thank you so much for the a thousand bits. That is so kind of you. Thank you so heckin' much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support, Lord. That's so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. My god. The other blonde little freak. Oh. It is so, so, you know, I've been having these like thumb problems, right? My thumb feels great. My thumb is getting better. Today, my wrist. I, I don't know if I like slept on it really weird or something. Although it was hurting a little last night. But God, I can like feel the crunchy of my wrist. It is so very unhappy. Like, I feel like I just need someone to, like, crunch it <laughs> and it'll be, it'll be fine. Okay. Isn't that normal? Not at least, oh my god. Not at least how I feel because I'm in pain and hopefully you, you shouldn't be in pain. Basically, I can't play keyboard games or controller games anymore. I, my hands are falling apart. <laughs> okay. It's our time. <gasps> Whee! Not the room, but wrist bones seeking repair. <laughs> the wrist bones are rising, no! Thank you, Lord. I actually have some. I have like a um, wrist brace sort of thing and a thumb brace. But thank you. Only you can judge how normal the crunch of your own wrist is. Very true. That's a very good point. Um, I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman division. The Hitman division? By next month now for sure. So, there he is. That horrible Hitman. I think his name is actually Tango. Uh, we have to stop him from shooting fast. Well, let's try this. And then let's, oh my God, can I hit him with the bike? Oh, no, he did not care. Please man, please look up. Oh. There. We put a stop to that shot at least. We did it. So I'm safe now, right? I don't think you are. Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I don't black blo little, 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 blocking a shot here, and that is really going to stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. <laughs> I, don't, I don't personally like physical violence. I'm just like a blonde old freak. Um, and I, that's not for me. Ooh, policeman. What have you got on you? Come here. A ninth stick. No, you little. Oh, <gasps> yeah, sir. No. Oh, what about this? 
Okay, that's got him. Ooh. Ooh. Pushing your last pain and very ice drinks off the mug. You wish for the bestest of things. Thank you. I wish everyone also has these things. Hey, did that turn that... Did you turn that flashing light on? It wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gone in that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do it that much at least. Do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Sure. Well, maybe I can turn every single light on? Something happens, that's funny. I thought this level was the swing the arm around. I'd like to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, that's great. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. Okay. Hmm. First of all, I want to... I'm thinking maybe if I... I told you it wasn't me! Ugh, I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know... What? Hey, shut up, you're creeping me out! You know as well as I do, the only explanation for mischief like this is... Inspector Cabanella! So they take tales about him as though he's a ghost, eh? But Inspector Cabanella is really a very nice person. Okay. And then maybe we turn on the other light and then the power? I don't know. I don't really know what my theory is here. Maybe if all the searchlights are on, the power will freak out. Yeah? Oh, look at, look at that. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we kind of have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Okay, so... Okay, if we close this... And then hop back on the man. No, no, no! I thought, okay, no. I couldn't go strict and I was very scared. I thought I failed. Um, if I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my model will be... If I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like you won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm gonna spread some nasty, scandalous rumors about him. So true, Queen, as you should. Okay, well... Can you come back? Yeah, perfect. Thank you, sir. And then this is gonna turn another one off. So I think we have to go back to the original spotlight to turn that off. Maybe. Look, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them at once. But I think if we turn this one off, we'll be safe-ish. Ish. I don't know. 
Oh, that was a terrible decision. <gasps> what if I... Oh no, okay. Um... Uh oh, the umbrella got knocked all the way over here. Now we can't go anywhere. Guess that's what you get for touching Ms. Uh, Inspector Cavanel's umbrella. He's always setting up traps for people. Done. Now what? Probably should have saved the umbrella for when we really needed it. Maybe we should start over. You know when the ghost tricks tricks you, then it's you know you're in ghost trick land time. You know? When you're a ghost tricking people, but a ghost tricks you! It's a hard life. Who would win streamer on an inanimate object? <laughs> <laughs> Who would win streamer or a bunch of pixels on a screen? The pixel. Every time. Every time. Every time. Okay. I think we have to raise the crossing gate and then do the umbrella. How many ghosts would a ghost trick trick if a ghost trick could trick ghosts? Whoa. You gonna come back? Or shall I turn on the siren? I will turn on the siren. Oh, and I scared him. And also he's shooting, and I didn't realize that. That's a little scary. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three is the magic number. It's the best number. I'm worried. Oh no, he has gone. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think we want to raise this. Oh, okay. I didn't see us going here, but sure. Okay. Uh, open? I don't know what that's gonna do. I don't think that was anything that I wanted to happen. Okay, sure. And then, I mean, I think I want to turn this off. Go back over there, please. Thank you. Won the call. <laughs> yes. I like what you think. Oh, I think I failed. And that's okay. Oh, I already turned this off. Oh, I'm an idiot. You know, I need the bathroom. That's the issue. I'm not focusing on what I need to focus on. I think I should have gone up here or something. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 wrong thing, wrong thing. You're panicking. Okay, ghosts. Uh, no. You, he sh no, no death is gonna happen today. Yep, get wrecked. Well, the death is. I did it. No. Crisis averted? Fate changed? <laughs> Whew, 
They're like, she's still like dead. And that's, it's, um, yeah, that's like a little, that's not quite what I wanted. But I have an idea. Okay, so we get him over here and then I think we can either use the umbrella or the crane to stop him. Like, what if we put the umbrella over his little face? Maybe. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, wait, I'm going to give you cool music before I go. Okay, there you go. Enjoy the music. I will be two seconds. Oh, also, you're about to hear a boop. I'm sorry. There you go. Boop's done. Yeah, me.
Hello, I return. Oh, this the music is so... You know? It's so good. <sighs> She's still dead, but like we've learned things. <laughs> May she rest in peace. We have knowledge now. It was worth everything. Okay. So. The plan is... Don't give me non story artwork to if you want. I'm very confused um, by what that means. <laughs> I don't want any tips with anything of the game. Um, he won't show up. Okay, so we're going to put the umbrella on him. Come here, Mr. Policeman. Thank you. I wish to pop onto you. How can they not see him, is my question, but, you know. It's just a thing you can do uh, on the sides of the game. Oh, yeah, you can tell me, sure. As in, like, do you mean, like, the borders? Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, you can tell me that. You can change the borders. I see. That's cool. Very nice. Thank you. I will see if there's any that, that speak to me. Oh, maybe this guy doesn't come over if I don't turn on the thing. Because then he gets mad. You know? <laughs> I'm a voice actor. Okay. We're gonna turn this off and then jump back on him. No, keep walking. So, good. Then we're gonna... Okay, that's ready to go, I think. Let me just check. Oh, I can lower this. Play the curious soul. Unlocked a song? Unlocked a background? I did things. Okay, but we don't want to do this just yet. We need to go... Wait, how do I... Oh. Okay, plan? I think I do need to lower the umbrella to climb back up. And then I lower the whole box. I think we're gonna crush him. I think we are probably gonna end up crushing his you know, I was going to say body, and then my brain said corpse, and we ended with corpse. <laughs> Crush is Borgana! No, say it ain't so! Okay, so I think we do this, and then we use the flag to get back on. And then... No, no, so, 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 slow your roll. Okay, well, that's fine. What? Curse you. Okay. You're gonna murder the whole blue bag. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. It's time. <laughs> okay, he's... We can prevent this, probably, hopefully, if this guy hurries up. Okay. Let's turn this on because it scares him. Is he not scared? Oh, this little. This little. Oh, 
Smobs must die. <laughs> All Smobs. I am curious about this street lamp though, but I don't know how to get to it. So I'm going with the crushing option. <laughs> it's the only chance I have. I must crush him. No, but I can't get over there that quickly. <gasps> no. No, it's done. I've he, I've 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 messed up. It was close. Hi, Dodge. I am. Thank you. How are you? I hope you're very well. Okay. I'm cooking, but I'm not cooking well enough. This is like Dark Souls, where with every death we learn something new. True. I feel like maybe I need to turn this street light off or something. The stove is on. The water is nearly boiling. It's happening, slowly and surely. Maybe it, but I don't know how I would get to the street light. I don't think I'm close enough. Maybe... I don't know. <sighs> How's life as a ghost detective? Pretty damn good. I mean, I've, I am dead and that's not, you know, the most advisable, I guess. But aside from that, life isn't too bad. Being dead is a minor issue. <laughs> Being dead is honestly not our number one concern at the current time. Okay, let's just see if we can lower this and see what happens. We are gonna crush him. Oh, but we can crush him multiple times. Mm. Wow, such power and speed. I bet that would put a nice stop to my horrible hitman. If it just stopped him, that would be fine. But if it killed him, would I be obligated to save him? Mm. Anyway, let's just focus on the stopping part. <laughs> Pre-cooking is always the worst. Post-cooking is inevitable cleaner. Pre-cooking is when you're dumb as funny ingredients. Honestly, that's my... Like why I never have proper like meals and cooking because I don't know when I'm gonna be hungry. And if I'm hungry, then I need something in the next like 10 minutes. I can't cook, like I can't cut up stuff for 20 minutes and then cook it. And then that takes another like 10 minutes. And then a bajib -bajib. that's too much. I need it now. Peak trigger, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Hello, Andrew. Yes. Yes. Did the Wrecking Ball not kill the first guy? Um... He was a little squidged. Is Shelly officially a freak? Yeah, she's one of the freaks, for sure. Apparently, thinking about things too deeply isn't something you like to do. Just the right amount. Think of, think that's the way detectives think about things. Now come on, let's do this thing. Oh, I just love stamping out evil. It makes me feel so alive. Except for the fact that you're dead. For now. Jeez. <laughs> As 
Also, pad thai is so good for me. You can have all the ingredients prepped in the fridge for days, and then cooking only takes 10 minutes. Bonus is it tastes fresh cooked because it is. Oh, maybe I need to start figuring out how to make pad thai. Um, and yes, definitely look after yourself for spoilers. Um, does the music remind you of anything? I would eat so healthy if the meals were just perfect. Same. Oh, so same. Yes. See, it's this bit. I don't... <sighs> this bit takes so long that I feel like this is when I... And then, like, getting back over here is crazy. This guy's lusty. I do see that. Um, I think this isn't the right track. Basically, like, it's the... It's so... You hold your phone for chill. It's um so Ace Eternary, and then it's actually the same composer, which makes it make perfect sense. There are some, it's so Danganronpa, like one of the songs is so Danganronpa. And it's like Danganronpa and Isatani just... Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target. But I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind. A shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him. Hold up. When did I become her assistant? Always. Also, I realized, I think I just had to interact, like, even though this was my plan, I think I had to interact with it for the game to... Are you kidding? No, am I gonna die? No, no. I'm so close. Oh wait, how am I gonna get back up there? Wait, Leva, is it gonna work now? That's funny. I know you want to kill him. I'll let you kill him, but we you're gonna die. Will this buy me some time? Maybe? Did he freak out? He did! Oh! <gasps> did that what do you mean one? What do you mean one? He's not even there! What? Shush. I can't. I can't. How the hell am I gonna get out there? Oh, you little. Hold on. No. I know everything I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. I know, why can't the Polonia stretch more? What a conundrum. Oh, thank you so much. That's a very good tip. Ghost gains are lacking. My brain gains are lacking. How can you not see him? He's just right there.
It's right in front of your eyes. I'm begging you to open them. Baby was just born a ghost, of course he got no gains. True. But he also only has one day, so he really has to make it count. <laughs> no, he was born as a ghost. You were right. No, you're you're perfectly right. Oh, I need to Oops. I can't believe this ghost baby isn't shredded. <laughs> Was it one? I don't even know if that worked, but we're gonna pretend like it did. I'm messing up something here. I believe. I've already messed up. It's so hard being a ghost with no brain. Maybe I just need to save this till the very end. Maybe I'm getting it set up and I shouldn't. Maybe I should set up the other side. Because I've been getting that set up and then going and fixing the other side and I think I need to set this side up and then go... Is it happening? I'm becoming the ghost trick after all? Maybe? Maybe? Okay, and then this is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't slow down. But no, this is good. Kinda. No, not one. Stop. I don't have time because the men aren't where the men should be. No. Okay, she's still dead, but it's, I tried really hard and I think I've got it. Don't shoot. Just wait five seconds. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one. This is it. <laughs> it's happening. It's going to. No, trust me. No, I will. No. Please, trust me. Please. I can do it. I'm a detective. Please. Right. Okay. It's gonna happen any second now. I will ghost trick and then the ghosts will believe in me. And by the ghosts, I mean desk lamp. Okay. So I think what I need to do is not turn this middle light on until the other one is turned off. So like, I've been working, I keep hopping between the three. I think I need to streamline it, you know? I need to, I need to be bigger brained. Chef Han. <laughs> Something like that. But then not go up because I always do that as well. All right, so here we just need to turn this off. And he'll still have to walk, I think. It's happening. It's occurring. It's all, it's, it's happening. 
and then we turn this on and then we go back down to the policeman <laughs> and then we go here we raise this we use this to hop a doodle do up here and now we wait and then we smush him like the bug he is Oh shit, we go again. <laughs> Beautiful Pachi. Come on, sis, I'll get him. It's time. Crush! Yay! Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. It was that man I crushed to death. Ah. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? Oh, music. If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? You're a living human? <laughs> your life can be saved. Even your life can be saved. Even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life though. Oh. These powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. <laughs> Lynn wanted to be special, but Cecil wanted to be alive. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. That's not a recommendation. I was kidding. Well... Guess where we'd better be getting back to the present. Oh, hi Danny, how you doing? Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. Okay. Oh, do you think I might just lower this? Um, return to main menu. Thank you. Oh, I might do it before next stream or something. I know nothing about this game. I already lost words. It's perfection. It's the best. It's so good. There is the, every character you want is in this game, probably. <laughs> you could be special, Lynn, if you sing a little bit for Piston Fifth. Have you heard of Person Fifth video game? That could be you, Lynn. Um. Um. Oh no. Oh, you know what we can do? Why am I doing this? I'm so sorry. Can't I just, um. Go to the phone. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You are raised yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Glenn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I better go back to see to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Ghost Trick Escape, it's so good, Ho Bagel. It's so, so good. Every character ever was invented by Ghost Trick. It's true. I decided to go back to the office while Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. 
And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that uh, case be connected to me in any way? <gasps> A beautiful illustration. Beautiful music. Does Magic Winter Ghosts? Absolutely. Like, without a shadow of a doubt. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Imagine if you get back to the orphan, she's already dead again. <laughs> Carbonara, no! What have you done? Living creatures can, uh, can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight! My apologies, sir, but I never th th thought she would run away! Lynn is our angel. I mean, friend. I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family. They all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? What? Well, Pepsi is your favorite. If I'm in the UK, okay. So like I, because I have lived in the UK and Canada, Pepsi Max is the best of all time. Pepsi Max is the number one, the absolute yes, number one. But that's not here in Canada. Here in Canada, I think Diet Pepsi is my favorite. But honestly, Canada Pepsi is turning me off of Pepsi. I'm starting to move towards 7-Up and Canada Dry. I'm, I'm changing. I'm a changed woman. Canada has done so much. I'm very sorry, I have no idea, sir! <laughs> You'll never make a detective at that rate. Now, find Lynn! Yes, sir! If suspected Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. Take accountability, Canada. So our red-headed detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Whew, she's fast. Well, I guess I'll look around for leads. UK Pepsi Max is just like the elite. That is the best soda ever. That's it. That's the one. But uh, no luck here, sadly. What if she's down here? Hiding out. Oh. Okay, never mind. Oh, maybe if I close it, it will like add steam. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'll do something. <laughs> Does Canada have an especially Canadian drink? Like how the UK has Iron Brew, America's root beer. I guess Canada dry. I don't. I mean, that's a root beer. I'm pretty sure. Catch Hannah sneaking flats of Pepsi Max into his UK. Legit. You know what I miss so much? And I genuinely want to ask my mum to send me like a care package. Sensations. They don't have Sensations crisps here. They're so good. Man, I just want Sensations, sweet chili. So bad. Oh yeah, sorry, ginger ale. I mixed up ginger ale and root beer. What are sensations? It's a type of crisp or chip. And uh, it's like a, a spicy, sweet chili crisp and it's, it's the best and they don't have it here. It's the elite. Megan, I would cry. I would, I would, I would cry. 
That old pigeon man. Do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Sir, I think this may be how Lin escaped through here. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Lin is pretty slim. Fool! Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. I'm very sorry, sir. I had no idea, sir. Oof, I'll never make a detective of that rude. Well, clearly no one you. Anyway. Where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir. He went through the door behind me, sir. It's locked. It went open. Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You better keep your eye on that old man too. Yes, sir. An odd gentleman. Let's examine the microscope. I have no idea what this instrument is for. As a matter of fact, this whole desk is filled with things I've never seen. I know I've lost my memory, but still. That old pigeon man seems like a pretty strange guy. Nice! Let's look at the photos. These photos look pretty old. Pictures of little fragments of rock. That old pigeon guy has some pretty strange taste in wool decor. Ugh. I might not be the exact same, but I'm seeing sensations on the lanes. Oh, maybe I need to go like to a big supermarket or something. Because I only go to like smaller ones. Maybe I need to find like a superstore. And then I'll find it. I'll scope out all the goods. Of Wild Market? I have not been to one, but maybe. I have no clue what Clamato or Beef Fizz is. Beef Fizz sounds disgusting. I I don't think I need to know what it is. It that terrifies me. The concept of the words beef and fizz being in the same sentence. Carbonated beef. It's beef soup and ginger ale and lemon. Clamato is part of Caesar's. I don't know what Caesar's is. It's like spiced tomato juice. Like. I don't know, I'm trying to think, isn't that... What's a Bloody Mary? It's not spiced, but it's like tomato juice and balsamic, right? Caesar is Bloody Mary with Clamato. Oh, okay. It's called a Bloody Caesar. I don't think I know what Clamato... I'm googling what it is. Hold on. Clamato juice. This is the bit that I don't understand. Commercial drink made of reconstituted tomato juice, concentrated in sugar, which is flavoured with spices, dried clam broth, and MSG. Clam, clamato, 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 tomato, tomato, clamato, clamato, potato, potato. It, hello. It just might be time to clean this room up, but will that close the matter? 
Her appearance here of all places and tonight of all times. I hardly think it's coincidence. Hmm. What a suspicious thing to say in the dark all by yourself. Um. Thank you so much. Top secrets for the follow. It doesn't literally taste like seafood, it just has a bit of a unami meaty essence compared to plain tomato juice. It's basically tomato soup in a glass with vodka. <laughs> I see. I had a Bloody Mary once ages ago and I quite liked it, but um, I don't know if I would like it now. I'll have to retry it one day. I've heard the Bloody Marys are very much like Depending how someone makes them, it can be so hit or miss. There we go, okay. Huh? This is Lynn's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. Well, okay. Mm, what to do, what to do? This is a very complicated matter. Don't read it. My god, sir. What have you got there? What? This? Oh, uh, this is, uh... Wait a minute, is that... Yes, sir, it's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? And come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at a notebook and making a phone call. Oh. <laughs> this must be it. The telephone number with a big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? Women love guys who give you notebooks, I guess. I mean, yeah, stationery is very beautiful. Like, sure, I can see it. I am, I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh, but I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, sir. No, no, sir, no, no, sir, no, sir. This number might be an important lead. I better check it out. Oh, absolute banger. Trick time. Let me get in the phone. We got a new voice. Hello, to whom am I speaking, please? <sighs> yes. Hello. This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McGaw? Oh. Is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? We don't usually call this late. Oh, uh, they just have the same voice. Did you get a call from one of the detectives, Lynn, earlier? Oh, uh, from Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. Is there something wrong? Yes, well, <laughs> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Sensing it's about to happen? Let's go there. Oh, let's not go there. I'm going to file the report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but... What is it? That notebook. Would you mind if I gave... Ah, never mind, sir! Mm, just stay on your toes. <laughs> I want to give her notebook back, because then she'll like me. Please! Let's go through the telephone. The music is so good and it's not on Spotify. Oh, we got two people. Is that wine? On the job? What was that call all about? I heard you say Lynn. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess though, I would probably say Something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what those words mean. Uh, that's not what I'm asking. That was my way of expressing indignation, putting it in the form of a question. 
I love him. I love them. They're everything. They're great. Okay, it does cost £69 nice in shipping this and a catering box for sensations, but I could do Megan! Holy moly! Oh my goodness. Very nice. But also, no! Oh my god! Megan! Hello, Madame Canada drives by your door because Starbucks was longer than my sonnets about you. I guess I'll go get my Canada Dry. Ah. LBRB, hold on. Hold on! Hello, I return. No, I want to go. Sip. I have Canada dry. It's all about to get very Canada in here. Canada humid? No. Canada dry. <laughs> Unreleased, who uses Spotify instead of YouTube to MP3? I simply do both. I can faintly hear O Canada. Can you hear it? Is it does it sound louder now? Colder? A colder? Fainter? What? <laughs> is the music colder or warmer? What does word mean? Oh my god, was that Celine Dion? <laughs> I just uh, hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know? According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night of late. So let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call, eh? But what exactly is this place? Personally, like my drinks loud. Mm, I get that. What's that piece of paper? I wish to read it. Let loose. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, that. I've wrote down my duties for the night, so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head. It's not like you have a ton of duties, after all. Use a little brain power. <laughs> What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Hmm, didn't you take it in quite that direction? So let's see this important to-do list of yours. Nine o'clock. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use that, te that phone a little while ago. Nine, eh? That's usually when Lynn calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Aw, oh, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could comfort her. <laughs> Gay people. <laughs> he is. He's the most bisexual. I think they're both honestly bisexual. Simply just there. They are the bisexuals. What, 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 what are you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay. I've got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know? Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Oh, the little booty wiggle. This game loves butts. I'm telling you. Oh, I gotta listen in on that. That's my job. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> Hello? The music. Hello? L Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, Detective, I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room's already reserved, that's why. Uh oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Uh, oh, really? Well, 
I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey, do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if it's only for tonight? Well, I, uh... Oh! Well, I've got to go. I'll call again tomorrow. Okay. Oh boy. Well, I guess I better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're going to report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. And then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. <laughs> you mean, you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exemption for my Lin too? Ugh. Special case, huh? All right, you win. <laughs> I love how everyone loves Lin. I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line, I better hurry. Okay. That's gotta be a part of your game review, this game loves butts. It certainly will. Are you joking?! You're dead again! No, she's alive. Is she dead? Girl. Lynn keeps attracting bisexual father figures. Golly. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a police officer, it should have been me! It looks like she's dead. We'd better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? Hey, excuse me, mister. Are you talking to me? This room. There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? Huh? And how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murder vanishes into thin air in a vacuum. Just go find a real detective. <laughs> I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir. No. No. You little goober. Uh, what a terrible turn of events. Lynn and death is a really toxic ship. It's now a locked room murder, eh? Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. Me too! Feed him to me, but no mysteries for me. Not one I can rewind time. Yeah, I know we could rewind time and talk to the but we could, but we could, but we, but, 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 but hear me out. We could do both of these things. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind the, this murder with my own eyes. I guess. <laughs> I died again. Ma'am! I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Oh yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the mind her mind the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. You could have done it. Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy. Guess I'll just have to go find out myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, looks like it's time for to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Girly, what is going on? What are you doing? Why do people want to kill you so bad? How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? 
I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that ta the time wasn't right. Look at girly go! <laughs> Why is my clash's voice? <laughs> yeah! A hunter is a hunter even in a dream! Oh. Hang up. <laughs> oh no, he just got burned, poor little guy. Oh, plot's progressing, I guess I'll die. <laughs> me when playing Yakuza, for real. <laughs> There's a gun up there. At least I would say it was an accidental... Oh my god! Just move! Just move! truth behind our locked room murder. So the murder was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine? When I came into the room it was pitch dark so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it. But why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. Maybe you just need some faster reaction times, you know? You gotta... You gotta... <laughs> Please! I'm begging you! You know what, Sizzle? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murder is mechanical! She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures, but I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. It looks like the key is to solving this one is understanding this device. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? <laughs> I think the universe is trying to tell us something about Lin's fate and who's still need to change it. You might be right. Hmm. How did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I've always liked small cramped places. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Oh my god, she just like me for real. When I was younger, um, and I would sleep at my, uh, like, because I mostly was raised by my granny was when I was little, or like a lot of the time I was raised by my granny when I was little, and she, she, the bed was like pushed against the wall, and I would like squidge myself in that little hole, and I'd be like, wow, this is so nice and cool and yeah, I guess I can understand that. Ah, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. I mean, okay. We, yeah. I'm dead. Do you remember that? I'm dead. This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh, maybe when it rings, I can do it. What you're saying is that's in-game Hannah. I don't know about that, but... Oh, wait. When I was little, I read about a famous basketball player always dying from getting so between his bed and the wall. Hall? That's scary. That's an understandable fear. 
Oh, um, is this the superintendent? I'm so glad! I thought I was all alone. Go there. Because then we can work our way in from the top. Level high brain? Jesus. That's very scary. I I don't like this fight. <laughs> It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching bookends blue and green, yelled at me. And then the old man with the dirty blue dove on his head completely ignored me. If only somebody would give me a kind word right about now. You want to give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Um, let's see. Hang in there. That's all you've got? I'd like to see you do better. <laughs> I love these little goobers, they're very goober. And yes. Oh, but I wonder. Oh, wait, if I close this, maybe it will get hot and then I can hop onto him and then he walks. No, no, no. Where are you going? What are you doing? What's happening? Then run away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles. That's gratitude for you. We were just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he have preferred getting scolded by the steam? Well, at least his fate was changed a bit. That's good anyway. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Okay, but she comes in, and then she turns on the light, and I think the ball is what moves first. Oh god, funny. There it goes! The murder machine has started! And if the whole thing plays out, that gun on the wall will go off. But before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. There must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it. Here goes. Let's go with this, I guess. That was bad. Oh, if I had... What am I doing? Lynn! Hey, that was pretty good just now. Maybe if we were on a putting green, well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it to use here. Good thinking. I just might be able to use this trick somehow. If I could change the path the ball takes. That's great and all, but it looks like we're all out of time this round. If I go here? R.I.P. Queen. You know, it's fine. Is that cheeky little Cupid who fires the arrow? If only we could get that ball to fly over and hit him. Yeah, maybe that would stop our Mr. Little Mr. Cupid. It happens. Sometimes you just die, and then you die a little bit more, and then you die, and then you die. And isn't that just life, really? Okay, we open this, but then I thought. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I don't know what just happened. Okay, I saw nothing. Yeah, truly, there was nothing to see, and I like, I, I couldn't agree more. Okay, I think we need to start this moving, and then. Oh, I thought it was gonna connect. Oh, that's. <laughs> how many times has Lynn died? I guess it depends how you're counting them. Initial deaths? Three. 
uh, accidental dies as we figure stuff out. Um, more. <laughs> Bigger number than three. 20? I don't know if that's true. Oh, I tried it. Oh, that was almost, that was so, I wanted to like, oh, that was almost perfect, I think. Killed by both assassins and now a murder machine. I'm sure I have to use this hoist at some point, but... Oh... It wasn't good. My idea didn't happen how I wanted it to. I wanted to, like... Hit it as it's falling. So then it, like, swoops up, you know? I'd love a wrecking ball right now. We could just stop all of this from going so wrong. Hmm, what if we try? Use the power cannon to try. I shall. I know this toy. The wheel spins and moves down the pole. Hey look, there's a thread attached to it. It loops around the clock and is tied to the frame the gun is in. And it seems to be connected to our fiery Mr. Cupid as well. This toy seems to be the heart of the entire mechanism. But Inertia is surprisingly powerful. I can't stop it It's once it's set into motion. But how are we going to... Okay, so we need to like open that door for the ball to like... But how on earth do we do all of this? I don't know. That I don't know. Because we've got to get the timing down precisely. Oh, but this doesn't actually... No, it doesn't need to be timed. Does it? It doesn't need to be timed because the ball stays where... Okay, 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 okay. My brain is ticking, just like the clock to Lin dying. But I just need to figure out the route back, I think. Okay. Okay, I think I've done- well, not done, but... just happened? It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased. Again. I, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? 
broke my promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit anyway. Hmm. What could this room be all about? Hmm. I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end. Those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off. It seems familiar somehow. What kind of birthdays do you have? I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, should we go back now? Back to your new present? Wow. Oh, she thinking. She figuring. She doing it all. Sizzle? Are you there? Lynn is talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? Or if you're not there? Uh, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. <laughs> well, you are kind of a weird girl whether you talk to yourself or not. We just need to make something move. Oh wait, we can talk to her like this. You are here! I knew it! I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head un uninvited. You did invite me! Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feed bit! No, you literally invite me? It's just a figure of speech. <laughs> hey, did I say anything? There! That tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. Did you have anything particular you wanted to say to me? Uh, I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case. And I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case, some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case, but if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. Hi Chris, how you doing? You know, would you still fucking dying? You have your life and your memory back now, so let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. <laughs> Lady, he's literally dead, who would he tell? <laughs> what else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Oh, how the hell did I do that? I don't know how I did that, but gr oh, not clear. I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot, maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit? I'm sorry, I wish I could have been of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? I wonder what info I had for her. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny... Uh, uh, incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla alright? She's fine, thanks to her loyal friend Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my! What in the world is going on? Why would anyone want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? <laughs> huh? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? Well, you are talking to a dead person. 
It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Is it a time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? Be friends with me! I'm sorry. Oh. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. Please be my friend. So I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday and you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it, even given how fishy it sounds. You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. So what are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah. What was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Cecil? What are you going to do? I, I don't know to tell you the truth. You'll my only lead if you leave. I just realized. You and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea. You're on. But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule for a prisoner? Yes. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prison number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Here, let me give you the chicken kitchen's telephone number. Thanks. I could go to the chicken kitchen. Time for a cheeky Nando's with the lads. Okay, see you later. See you. But don't die again if you can help it. <gasps> They're cute. I love their little dynamic. It's so lovely. Yeah. Did I just hear a weird noise? It sounded like, yep. <laughs> I want some nuggets. Let's all go chicken nuggets together. It looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating and she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we've started a strange relationship of cooperation. Squeaking? Oh, was it just a lamb squeaking? I thought the lamb squeaked and then it was like, yeah, or something. <laughs> Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go out Go check out tomorrow's work schedule. Prisoner D99. I better get to the prison. Let's go prison time. She's so cute. I love their dynamics so much. The ghost is using their tricks on Hannah's headphones. Oh no. 
I love how so far the game hasn't pushed any romantic subplots or even making fun of their female characters. Cough me, you can't cough. Genuinely, it's like... Every character is really fun. Like, even if they are, like, not a nice person, they're still so fun that I'm just like, Yeah! Let's see what they want to do! It's either... They're all just good. They're all great. And the dynamics are pretty freaking interesting. And they're written very nicely. Oh, oh you should have got a Nando's in the, in the UK. Oh my goodness. Nando's is a institution. <laughs> Sissel is quite literally in your walls. Good. I love that this game loves being a game. This is real gaming. This is it. Lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The composer is the same. I don't know how many people are are on the same teams, but at least some of them, yes. The detective assigned the dead guy a task to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prison is scheduled for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Moving to Nando's. Apparently Nando's does good veggie stuff. Um, so I've heard, but I know that I used to be veggie, so I know it can be like very... Depends what kind of veggie meals you like. Um, because I think it's a lot of bean stuff and I, when I was vegetarian, I did not like bean substitute meals. Uh, I bet she's pretty pleased with herself. Keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her at the chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I better head there too. Oh, are they okay? It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet cute bright Lynn. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Forget all about all that, kid. Now you'll listen to me. Yes, uh. Want me to go back to me? You know, ironically, <laughs> um, I, so I was a vegetarian for so many years and then I was in an <laughs> And like I said, I really disliked bean stuff, but I just was, uh, I didn't want, I, it was like with friends or like extended family or something and I didn't want to be awkward. And then I was like, fine, I'll just like have a chicken meal and I'll just like, this will just be one, like it'll be fine. And I'll just go back to being a vegetarian. And then it, it was so fucking good. And I was like, wow. Chicken is kind of yum. Wow. But then also at the same time, I was a very bad vegetarian because I was not getting enough protein at all. Like I was, I was very unhealthy. It was not like vegetarianism for me was not the best move because I don't like other things that have protein in. Um, so in the end now I haven't, I'd like, I don't eat beef or lamb and that kind of thing. And I, mostly have dairy substitutes um but i do eat chicken i quite like tofu i'm i'm a pretty big fan of tofu it depends how it's like cooked i guess you ate that chicken and your buddy was like finally some good fucking literally like i think my body hit was like whoa is this what it's like to have sustenance that is good for me oh my god and just like passed out in a nando's coma <laughs> yes sir you're bright as the sun lynn probably doesn't even know you exist and those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life never mind fretting about every little setback enjoy your life get what you can out of it mister would you mind just leaving me alone <laughs> I'm sitting Shinji style and I need to be in my own thoughts. Oh, honey. So also have low iron in some cases. Yes, I uh, am anemic and then also not, uh, you know, having 
meat and stuff. I it was I just wasn't happy at all. I'm eating less meat than before, but I don't think I go full vegetarian. I like meat dishes too much, so I just try to make sure the meat comes from. Tea. I think that's a huge thing because it's like um, at least to me. The meat industry is like, like, I don't think it's immoral to eat meat or anything like that, but the meat industry is awful. So I don't think, like, I just make conscious decisions to not support the meat industry, like, or the worst aspects of the meat industry when and where I can. So, like, even cutting out, like, eating salmon or eating beef or certain uh, meats, especially is good for you and good for the world and hopefully will help at least a little and everyone does that. If more people do that, then big changes will be made rather than feeling like you have to go full vegan or vegetarian. <laughs> Hannah, how did you stay upright? I simply did not. <laughs> um. How oh, hard, indeed, they are. Meet rich people and said, oh my god, I think that's our solution. Let's just eat the rich. Yo, big brain. Um, so how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours and then it's time. I guess we should get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, he got it out the trash! The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. When I started making grown-up money, I didn't live any more lavish or anything, I just spent my money on more expensive local produce rather than with then supermarket meat. And hello wizard sauce, how's it going? When I went vegan I had to do it overnight. Damn. That's very impressive though. And I'm glad you found a way that works for you. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is around on that board. Nice. Already then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome back for 14 months. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the hype as well. I hope you're doing very well today. Can we read? Oh no, let's not let it loose. Let's just... The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. I was without internet for six days, but I have returned. Bless. Um, welcome back. I hope the internet is um, fulfilling your brain needs. <laughs> I also hope maybe being without the internet fulfilled your brain needs as well. <laughs> the screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keeps the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. Do you understand what a prison? I wonder where these little rooms are. So, you what? Hey, Bailey. Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? He spent too much money on Genshin. You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege? Oh. <laughs> Metro, who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower, what? At the chief commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's all the detectives who surrounded him asked. What are your demands, they asked. And the guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. 
Joker. Curry and rice, that's it. Unfortunately, no, after he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's moustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. Seriously. The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't even make sense. In the first place, how did a huge armed guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national security. Oof. Jeez. No, don't throw it, please. I want to... <laughs> Would you quit throwing all my important duty members away? Please stop doing that, because I need to climb. No, oh, I... Let me across, please. Hey, Bailey. Don't throw it. Okay. Now you can talk. Goblet? Okay, fair enough. What's the matter? You can't even pin a memo properly. Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, you made a request. Okay, we've, we've, you already told me that. What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case. Secret who to what? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their, their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it? A murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how was that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why didn't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all the matter of national security. Secrecy. Oh. <laughs> Impressive that he managed to put that into a song. Do you think he, like, tried to make it really work lyrically and everything? Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? My god, man. What does this do? What rhymes with embezzlement? <laughs> there you go again, fooling around with that thing. He's just making his card house, you know? What's happening? Are we okay? It wasn't me. Don't lie, you know you'd love to see me jump up and prepare for an emergency. Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. The emergency switch is probably just loose, probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies, don't play with it! Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Write a memo on it. Well, close it back up, it's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? Oh, what a sad, sad state of affairs. <laughs> what a terrible time. Sorry. Can I use the bazooka? <laughs> Please. Too predictable. I just got bored. <laughs> yum, yum. What if we press it again? It just shuts up. That's not interesting.
Let's use the bazooka. <laughs> Cali. Google Store results are resettlement, resident, impediment, and development. Oh. The government is doing embezzlement. They say they're going to make a development, but really it's just an impediment. And I, we should be resonant to these details. Well, that's it. That's the song. Are you okay? Yes, I was like, what just happened? I figured, I figured Pretzel was just tearing around. What was that? Oh, it wasn't anything in my room. I have no clue. It's just the building falling apart. Don't worry about it. A ghost? Not a ghost. A ghost tricking us? Oh my god. You know, Ceiling Man did, did, did appear this morning. I'm not even kidding. Like, I was getting ready. And the ceiling man just went bing, 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 and then he didn't say anything. He just... Silence. The stream is getting meta. <laughs> it's just so many layers to the stream. Oh, you better know. And you ought to know that I'm just kidding. Grr. Ceiling man is ghost tricking me. I was in the lounge and it sounded like it came from me your room, but there's nothing that ghost tricked me. This is, are we haunted? Uh, I don't know how I feel about being haunted. Maybe I need to let this one loose. How does he know? It's quite impressive. Hi, Zelma. I am scared of even the nicest of ghosts. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. The chef is preparing you for him right now. Oh, well, fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. Lynn? Camilla? It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that of all people? The motive, of everything. All a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. There's a lot of secrets in this nation. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kind of special cases. At D99. Who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. I don't like it either. Oh, the piano! Ooh. Ooh. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. <laughs> Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? What if the national secret was the friends they made along the way? It's beautiful. It's time. his little wine glass on his tower of cards. Now that's impressive. And who is this fine new warden? <laughs> Take the phone back. Good job. And now I can get across. Oh, I'm so 
Wow. What is this? Fine. What does this do? Oh. <laughs> Run! Run while you still can, sir! I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who sang the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. Okay. I feel like this is a good stopping point. Because then we can like, we can start with this little guy. Whatever this little guy is doing. I adore the little guy. Already. I can't wait for the wine glass to precariously balance in the card tower to become a murder weapon. <laughs> the cops do have amazing posture. And this game is amazing. It's so good. Little guy! It does. Everyone's a little guy in this game. Oh wait, let's see if we can... Ghost puzzle. Background. <gasps> oh, we can have Lynn and Cecil! We can have Lynn and Cecil! I want Lynn and Cecil. That's our background. That's cute. Yes. Okay. Um, Ghost Trick Little Guy. <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out. It was nearly six hours. It flew by. I don't know how it felt for you all, but for me, the time just like zoomed playing this game. Um, nice short stream. Yeah. Just a casual little five hours, 50 minutes. Thanks for tricking Ghost for us, of course. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, please feel free to join the Discord. And you can also follow me on Twitter and YouTube if you would like. And um, I'm gonna go protect my poor wrist, which I don't know what's going on. Um, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Oh, I'm so sorry, Con. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Um, thanks to stream and blessing us with Carbonara Man. Yes. May the Carbonara Man, here he is in my palm. Please take good care of him. Enjoy him. He's the best. Think of him. What's the story on Boss Baby? Um, as I play Yakuza, this is the patriarch of my Yakuza family. We are in the Adachi Boss Baby patriarch family. You don't really get a say, I'm afraid. You just kind of are in it if you are in this stream. Um, anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow or I'll see you all in the Discord or wherever I end up seeing you on the internet. May you have a most wonderful rest of your days. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Bye, friends.